make sure everything is good to go and then we will get started okay so i got um make sure i'm actually doing this good that looks good this looks good all right everybody welcome so as the title suggested code Geass january code just celebrated one year funny that this game is this game is so bad but somehow it lasted one year i don't know I know that new store came out. Everyone's freaking out over it, and I will be covering it hopefully this week. I'm I'm going to do something a little different than normal because I've noticed that while people don't mind the two hour plus discussion over you know any of the different stories in January Code, I think people would probably prefer a a twenty minute or even a ten minute summary. So the plan going forward is to try to do something like that for the story. And see where we go from there. But yeah, everyone's freaking out over that story because of the whole uh what is it, incest baiting? I know it's not really incest, but just the fact that it was uh, hinted to in the story is just really weird. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder what's going on up there with those people when they write these stuff. But uh yeah. That'll be happening sometime this week. God, it's been so long since I've done a live stream. Way too long. God damn these pop-up ads. So yeah, we're walk, look, looking at right now everyone in chibi form. As you see, there we got Colin, Cecile, Layla, C2, and Cornelia. But that's not why you guys are here. You want to see some summons, and we're going to do that today. Uh, also, I think I solved the problem with uh, lost stories where I couldn't have a full screen. So hopefully that will be resolved too in this stream. But we'll get to that later. We're going to be doing a lot of summons today. And when I say a lot, I, I'm, I'm I'm like not kidding. We have, let me just give you some perspective here. We have this thing to do. We then have, I'm not doing this one. Uh, we got a free 10 summon, which is cool. Then there's a, uh, there's this one, of course, which we'll be spending a lot of time on. Uh, additionally, we have lots of silver ticket summons. We have code link summons. We have two level four guaranteed summons. It's gonna be a lot, guys. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be a lot. I want to get my a thousand. Wait, isn't it? Isn't it twelve? Yeah, there we go. I'm like, where's my money, guys? Pay me. <laughs> All right, great. So we got that out, out of the way. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of summons in, in this. I, and I really want. I normally don't do this, and this might require me to do some whaling, which I, I don't really want to do, but. I really want this solution to Zaku, so I'm going to be spending as much as I have to to get them. So hopefully it won't be too much, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes at this point because these two characters are so broken, I have to have them. It's an investment for the future of the game, <laughs> however long this game has. But uh, yeah, there we go. All right, what should we start with first? Um, I'll, I'm going to ask you guys, we'll start with first. Should we do silver tickets? Should we do... This, um, the free 10 summon, you know, what do you guys think? Which we, which we start with first? Because, again, there's – we got a lot of summons to do, so. Um, let me actually – let's put a poll in there. Okay. What should we start with? And I'll just say – I'll I'll – wait. Okay, I was about to say, how many options do I have? Only four? Okay, so silver tickets, uh, free 10 summon, the uh, get, uh, I can't spell. I think it's guaranteed four, uh, rank four, or, yeah, it's helping me out. I can't spell guaranteed. Or should we do Silvered and ring or the step, the step summons. Here we go. What should we start with? Me tell me, let me answer the question that was given. Uh, do you think that the Shinkiro is based on the Grim Reaper because it has some elements, black color scheme? The face looks like a skull, Lush is known for bringing a death. I have no idea. That's an interesting theory, though. I know the Gwen is based on Egyptian mythology, specifically Anubis. I have no idea. That might make sense, too, because if the Gwen is based on Anubis, the Shakira might have also been based on that. So, you know, 
All right, so we got the guaranteed rank four. Sounds good to me. Let's start with that. Here we go. And we're going to do this twice, so let's do it. First time. Here we go. Uh, her voice changed, which is really weird, but it always does that in this uh, thing. All right, what are we getting? A new character, old character? I already have this character. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not sure who this is. It's Colin. Yay. <laughs> I don't hate Colin, but like, ugh, fine. I kind of wanted a new character, but whatever. I mean, she's good. She's good. I, I shouldn't be mean. She's she's a good character. All right. First rank four we got was Colin. Let's go again. Let's go again. Oh, she seems she seems worried. That's a good sign. New character or dupe of an older one that I have. Let's see what we're gonna get here. I like a new character, please. There's so many fours I don't have. I don't know why I can't get one. We so difficult. I'm not ooh, I don't what's that? Suzaku. Really? <laughs> uh all right, piss off, piss off game. Really? So we got Zaku and Colin. All right. I mean, all right. You know, it's, it's not bad. It's just, all right. Not, not really what I wanted, I suppose. Uh, okay, let's do the code links next since everyone loves those. So we'll just we'll just go through these real quick. I'll skip right through them since you guys, you know, don't really care too much about code links, to be fair. Neither do I because they don't do much in this game. So we'll skip the first one. Let's see. Ooh, we got Orpheus. All right, whatever. Nobody cares. Uh, next. <laughs> I mean, I like Orpheus, but I don't want him as a co link. I want his character, you know? All right, next we got Cornelia Ring 3. All right. I don't know. Not much there. Uh, let's move on now to the free 10 summon. So we've done two fours so far, Colin and, and uh, Zaku. All right, here's our free 10. Let's see what we get from this. I assume we're not actually getting a rank four out of this. It's just more like a, uh, you might get one. Is Orpheus powerful in this game? Uh, not anymore. He was power crept. He was at one point, but the game has the power creep in this game is real. All right, no, no, no fours here. Let's see what three do I, do I still need. Not too many, like Ashley, I guess. Uh, Toto, Valetta. You guys see this right? You already know who these are. Shirley, uh, who's this? To Ogi? What's a Toto? That's Ogi, dude. Futaba? Toto? Tamaki? We haven't got detailed yet. Uh, Klaus? Guilford? And our three is Yukio. Okay. All right, we're already starting off uh, really well here. Okay, uh, next. Yeah, that was bad. You owe me big. No, okay, let's do... Uh, let's do some... Let's do Let's do a couple of these tickets. Let's do that next. Oh, I can end the poll. My bad. Okay. All right. Let's do some silver tickets. First round. Here we go. All right. Crap. Crap. I'm going to skip through it if we don't see anything uh, four related. I got all the threes in the game, so there's really no point. Oh, we, we might get an upgrade maybe. No? Okay. Let's see. Ah, our first D-Tart. Excellent. Let's go to get him. Klaus. 
Okay. Toto. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Guilford again. Mm hmm. Toto. Uh, Lux again. I get her like every time. Psycho. Futaba. Guilford. Gino. I don't think I have them at all, but who cares though? Fun, uh, fun question. Least favorite to fair ranking of mass production nightmare frames. The Borai, the Gloucester, Sutherland, Nakatsuki, Gara, Vincent Vard, Gunru, and the Panzer Hummel. Well, I don't really like the Panzer Hummel or Gunryu that much compared to others. So, well, that was awful. So, I, I'd probably, my favorite one, I think, is the Sutherland just because of the nostalgia. Uh, I like the Borai's. No, I like the Gekkas. I think you well, the Gekkas were not mass produced, were they? So maybe not. All right. So then Borai. Let's see what else we got here. Glouses were cool too. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the Kotskis. They were kind of, eh, they were kind of ugly. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the Kotskis. Any fours here? We've done this our third round with this. Crap. Okay. Next. What do we get from this? Toto, wow. All right, one more. I'm hoping that by doing these bad summons, when I actually care, they'll be good. That never happens, though, does it? Ooh, a four? She seems... She, oh, yeah, we're getting a four. At least one. Maybe two? We're getting a four, right? We're getting one four. Will the new Kogia season begin? Uh, I have no idea. It was supposed to be this year. <laughs> How did that work out? <laughs> no, seriously, I have, I have no idea. All right, Sayako. Klaus. R4 is. Ooh, long name. And. Oh, come on. I had this guy already. What the fuck? I don't even mind getting him again, but like, really? How does this stupid machine work? You don't you think I have a better chance of getting new characters than old ones that I already have? Like, like the algorithm? Like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, my brain. My brain just can't. Okay, so we got three, four so far. We got Colin, Zaku, and now Arthur. Not Arthur, I'm sorry. Watson. So, I mean, whatever. Ain't the worst. All right, so so that's a question. Uh, what is the concept of this game? Uh, basically, and I'm going to put this as simple as possible because I don't really know myself. The game is not complicated, but doesn't do a good job explaining itself. Essentially, there's some of that going on called the Fimble Winster, or Winter, I said Winster, Winter, where like all the different universes of Kogias have combined into like one event. And they got to stop like this evil moon thing from destroying everybody. There's an evil zero. There's a, a new immortal. Uh, Alan has a, a ability where he can go to different timelines with Gias power. It's all very complicated, weird multiverse stuff, as Orion said. Well, I think with the story so far, from what I've seen of it, I'm not too impressed with it. I think it's trying too hard to be different things. Okay, now let's go on to the step summons. So just, just a recap. We did this twice. We did this three times, and no one cares. And I did this four times. So we've done uh, 42 summons. Three four so far. Not terrible, but uh, you know what I'm really here for. All right, step step one. Here we go. Oh, we're getting a four. We're getting a four. Nice. Off the bat. Perfect. Now, who are we getting? I think it's one of those characters. I'm hoping so I don't have, or if it is one I have, then, you know, make it R2 Collins. They already have her built up at this point. But we'll see what we get. Let's see what we get. I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. V2, already maxed him out, but we'll take it. Next is R4. And R4 is R2 Lelouch. Okay. All right. You know what? He's a great character. I'm not even going to complain. I'm not going to complain. And he's a new character, and that's the most important. 
pretty solid, pretty solid. I'm no no complaints actually. And that's that's coming from me. You know that means something. <laughs> this creepy picture of Kaguya. All right. And then we have okay. Cecile, of course, because we love Cecile. Lloyd, I maxed him out months ago. Psycho, come on, come on. You know, just to skip ahead. Oh, Bradley again for the thousandth time. Awesome. Got Lelouch R2. Pretty cool. Not going to lie. All right, next. Here we go. All right, no four this time, but that's okay. Oh, maybe we will. Remember the last time with Anya, I got like three Anyas in a row, which I got. I wasn't even upset about because Anya is really powerful. So uh, let's see. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Oh, we're getting a four. We're getting a four. Very nice. Okay, what are we getting? All right, Fudaba. Ogi. Ogs. Keji. I think his name's Keji. I think I finally got it after like a thousand years. Uh, we got Chino. Nobody cares. Klaus. We have Klaus again. We have Shirley. I'll, I'll, I'll say Klaus three times. Our next three is uh, Kigisa. She is the wife to be of Liu Cheng. If you guys didn't know, in Crimson the Blood Pack, I'll cover that story one of these days. We'll see. And I thought we're getting a four here. Kigisa, okay. And our four? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's different from before. Who's that? Is that Jeremiah? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. You guys don't understand, okay? I tried so hard to pull for Jeremiah on his banner, and I failed horribly. So now that I've got R2 Lelouch and Jeremiah in the same, like, this is great. I, I'm I'm really pleased. But keep in mind, though, I just want I want to point out something here. Even though I'm praising this game for game when I want, this also could have been really bad too because it's a roulette wheel. So I'm happy with what I got so far. But just keep in mind, these are not guaranteed anything. I'm just. Oh my god, that was cool though. That was cool. Now we're getting a four here. This is actually a guaranteed four. The other two, I think, were not guarantees. Wait, is this guaranteed four? Wasn't the whole point of this? Eh, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anyway, so we just got Art to Lelouch and Jeremiah. Cyborg Jeremiah. That's that's pretty cool. Here's the last little step. I thought this is supposed to give you up. Oh, I bring a four. Told you guys. We might get a new character or we could get R2 Colin, which I'd be happy with. All right, we got Detard. We become Detarded. We have uh, Futaba again, Sumaragi. Sayako. Ryo. I keep calling him Ryu, but his name is Ryo. I don't know why I keep doing that. Toto. Sayako. Toto. Toto. We went from Toto to Toto. Uh, Kilfer. Yay. And our four is... Um, who is that? I, I, I don't know. Man, ask and you shall receive, my friends. Wow. Um... Let me just state that this is absolutely nuts. And you guys know, okay? You guys have watched these streams. You know my luck is absolutely dog shit. But we have gone in this. We got R2 Lelouch, R2 uh, Jeremiah, as Cy the Cyborg Jeremiah, and now we got C2. This is absolutely insane. How goes the summings? Well, let me tell you, uh, Ember. We just got R2 Lelouch. I got Cyborg Jeremiah and R2 Lelouch, um, C2. Sorry. I'm like overexcited. I'm like getting this wrong. I got C2, Lelouch, and Cyber Jeremiah. And before, I got Zaku and Colin. So we've got five fours. Every single one of these was a four, by the way. Absolutely bonkers. And all new characters, which is important, because now I can get at least three guaranteed tickets from all of them. So 
Six step back here to appreciate how awesome that was. Oh my God. All right, let me answer a question real quick before we move on to the main event. Yeah, I got I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you guys at the end like all the characters I got. But yeah, this was a crazy summons. Absolutely crazy summons. Okay. What if uh alternate question, alternate universe question? What if Cornelia and Yuffie were were at t- <laughs> lower the energy a little bit? Okay. What if Cornelia and Euphemia were to take the role of Lelouch and Nully while Lelouch and Nully take the role of the former? How would the story change? So you're saying Lelouch comes to run Area 11 and Nully and, and Euphemia and Cornelia are on the run? That'd be interesting because Cornelia has fighting experience, but if they were if they were exiled for the same reason, would she have it? It's hard to say. Well, first of all, Yuffie, hmm. I don't know. I can't give you like specifics on what would be different if Cornelia and Lelouch swap positions and Yuffie and Nelly swap positions. I can just tell you that I think that the dynamics between Cornelia and Yuffie are much different between Lelouch and, and Nelly, although both are very controlling, but in very different ways. So I, I'd probably say like at the bare minimum, um, hmm. Cornelia's also a good strategist too, right? So she'd be able to effectively run a a resistance. Plus, plus, uh, if she had gas power, it probably wouldn't be to control people, it'd be something else. But Cornelia is a very controlling person, though. So, huh. You know what? That'd be a really cool what if story for Janice Sari Code, or even just a manga. How cool would that be if, if it was like if it was Kogias Cornelia of the Rebellion? You know, I'm, I'm actually going to star this. I might do a video on it, too. A what-if scenario. I know we don't do those in my videos, but, man, that'd be a really cool thing to do. Anyways, here we are. We're going to try to go for the big ones. We've already had really good success so far, so uh, let's get to it. First round of Emperor Lelouch and R2 Suzaku, the Knight of Round. Night of, sorry, Night of Zero. You fudged it up, man. You had one job. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. If I don't if I don't see any uh, four, I'm just going to move right on because uh, I respect your time. And let's see. Nope. All right, moving on. What do we get? We got uh, Cornelia and Ayano. Okay. And one detard. All right, next. We're going to keep going until I get them. I don't even care. I'll spend as much as I have to. All right. We got Gigi and nothing else. All right. Oh, she seems worried. She seems excited. Let's see what we get. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Blue, blue, blue. A couple golds, but no rainbows. No upgrade. All right. Next. Okay. Oh, we got Jeremiah. I actually need more of him, but. Next. Okay, we're getting a four. This is good. But will it be the one we want? This game has fudged me in the past. You know what I'm talking about. Give me an exclusive character. Don't give me a dupe. I've gone that in the past. and <laughs> Or not a dupe. A character I already have. Like <laughs> I've gone fudged in the past for that. Here we go. All right, here's the four. And it is. Yes, my. Yes, I am. Look at that. It's about god dang time I, get, I start winning these summons once in a while. It is about time. As you guys know, in my past summons, I always get screwed over. But finally, we got Zaku. Awesome. I'm I'm really excited. <laughs> I don't see I'm like, you know, toning it down, but like this is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, we can skip through all these. Psycho, Shirley, Ogi. We're gonna have so many dupes. Guilford though. Shirley, Sayoko, 
Futaba. And our three is V2. Again. All right, let's keep going. One again for Lelouch. Pretty awesome, though. Pretty awesome. Okay. So far... Ooh, we're going we're to see two here, I believe. Okay, that's a good sign. That's always a good sign. She seems excited. Oh, we're getting another four. Come on. Give it to me. Give me the Emperor Lelouch. Come on now. Okay. Cecile. Sayako. Toto. Cecile. Valetta. Dodo. Sayako. Tamaki. Futaba. And our four is. Who's that? Shin K, see, see, this always happens. I told you guys, they always give me, like, if you think about the odds to getting Shin K here, it's it shouldn't be possible, but it actually happened. All right, just like the movie um, Miracle. Again, I don't mind Shin K. Shin K is a great character, but you know what I'm really summoning here for. So, all right, Iggy. She seems worried. That's great. Okay, what we're we getting here. Lloyd. Actually, they're all they're all threes. I'm sure I've been showing you this. They're all threes. Um, oh, Yuffie. All right, whatever. Again, we're gonna keep going. I really want Emperor Luce here. I will do whatever it takes. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Oh, she seems worried. Okay, another four potential. Come on now. Give it to me. <laughs> We're getting one four here. That's great. Just make Adam Pearl Lelouch, and look, we'll move on. Okay, just give me what I want, and we'll stop doing this, all right? Okay, Klaus. Sayako. Shirley. Okay. Klaus, all right, all right, all right. The, the three is uh, Cornelia. Always good to get her. Guilford, though. I always say I forget it's funny. I don't think it's Emperor Lelouch. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, it... <laughs> yes! Guys, we've done it. <laughs> Unbelievable. We got both of them. I didn't spend my resources either. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried about that, but um, good stuff. All right, let's let, let's let's wrap it up. We got stuff to do. I, I spent thirty minutes summoning today, but <laughs> awesome. Just awesome. So just the recap. Actually, let me show you the recap. Why do I have to like... So we did 60 on this banner, which is pretty impressive. We did... Not this one. Piss off, guys. 40. That's 100 summons. 102 summons. 130 summons. And we got a bunch of fours. Let's look what we got. Let's, let's go through the recap. Let's take a look. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Look at that unbelievable that is quite a stacked lineup and the best part is i can get them all to 100 because i don't spend my resources on anything in this game because there's no point to this is the first time i might spend like several minutes just upgrading all my characters i usually don't have to do that but um so cool man it's, it's finally rewarding all the suffering to finally actually get the characters that i want all right, um, let's start. Let's see. I'm not going to do that yet with, with, with Sasaku. Let's just start leveling him up. Hopefully, it just won't take too long. But you guys know, know how it goes. Um, 
Let me do some comments real quick while we're um while I'm doing this. <laughs> the Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Cecile, I did it. That's funny. Yeah, it's four characters. They're all like clones of Lelouch. It's it's really weird. I, I'm currently going through the story right now. Um, I don't know. It's definitely not my my um cup of tea. That's the rest of the wrong expression. Yeah, it's not only Suzaku, C2, and Colin. The Colin daughter looks like Akiza from Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds. Eldery. Yeah. What the actual <laughs> I know. Wait, they didn't censor the F word in the in the YouTube comments? Wow. Yeah, exactly. So cool. All right, let's level them up. Unfortunately, this may take some time because this game is slow, super slow. All right, all right. Lancelot de Rampogo. Can you believe Bleach is coming back in, what, eight days from now? That's crazy. Is it eight days? What's the eight? Are we the second or first? Second. Okay. Yeah, I know you don't like Suzaku. I mean, that's okay if you don't like Suzaku, but understand that during this time, everyone likes Suzaku. He was helping out Lelouch. He finally did what everyone wanted. Joined the evil side, you know? Joined the dark side. And he did. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. But yeah, I know. People don't like Suzaku. I totally get it. So, if they cloned... Would Eldery be Lucian and Ellie's sister? See, yeah, you're right. But I think the way they did it, yeah, but they're, they're parents, though. But you're right, they would be sisters. Yeah, it's really weird. She calls, like, not only, like, my mother. I'm like, wait, what? And Nelly's like, I don't recall having kids. Who the hell are you? <laughs> can Nelly even have kids? Uh, she probably can. I don't think her... her I don't think her conditions would prevent her from doing that. But uh, yeah, that's that's the rub when it comes to that story. It, it's something about clones based on the DNA of the main characters. What I don't understand is, from a Gios perspective, the C2 clone has a code. How? I don't think that's how that works, right? The, the code doesn't trans transfer through any of that stuff. It's not genetic. As far as I know... The code can only be transferred from a mortal to a Gios user. You can't transfer it via genetics that I'm aware of. So I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> yeah, and you know what's funny too about the Shirley and the Lelouch? There's actually, um, I'll show you in a second when I'm done leveling up, but um, hold on. Uh, let me just finish this real quick. There's a, um, a picture drama called miraculous anniversary and during that story Shirley thinks about if she married Lelouch what kids they would have and I'm pretty sure you get to see what they looked like so if you're curious what Shirley and Lelouch's kids would have looked like I can show you that real quick I do apologize for this but I mean this game is real slow you could hit the max button Problem the max button is it'll use my good stuff on the bad on like the lower levels. That's a waste of resources. So we have to go through this process. It's almost done. Okay, let me show you guys real quick. Lanza de la Rampago. Our good friend Yukiora. Yukiora. One second. Okay, so let me show you Miraculous Anniversary. I gotta, I'm gonna find it real quick. Yeah, here we go. So you see this? This is Shirley's. Um, I don't know if I can see this or not, but um, this is what she thought her kids would look like in the future. They don't have orange hair though; they're just little Lelouches. Also, why is she in a swimsuit? I don't know, but um, yeah, that's. That's what Shirley thought their kids would look like. I don't know. There you go. Go away. You ever wonder what C uh, C two and Lucha are going to do together now that they're immortal? I mean, I assume lots of uh, you know bedroom action. Then when they're bored with that, I guess they'll keep taking people's codes away. In fact, there's a reason why C two and Sakunai are the mothers of those children. So Shirley wouldn't be. Wouldn't have been one of them. 
oh, there's a reason why that's the case. Okay, I'll have to go to the store to find out. How old is Aku be the mother of one of them? Again, if it's if you're doing genetic code stuff and co if you're doing cloning, I don't think it matters where you get the DNA from. So let me just say, like, it was even kind of lazy how they did it, too. I mean, you see, like, Lucia's face with, like, their hair color. It wasn't, I'll be honest, it wasn't the most well-handled thing. But, yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're almost there. Again, I appreciate the patience, but this, this unfortunately, is a slog to get through. I won't upgrade Jeremiah C2 or R2 Lelouch for your benefit, but I will do Elise Zaku and Lelouch, so... Well, here's a question. I know I'm not sure if everyone's thought of this. Can people with codes even have kids? I have no idea. They never really explained that. I assume they can, but we don't know. And can C2 even have children to begin with? Maybe she can't, you know? Maybe she's uh, infertile. They never discussed it in the story. But, uh, you know, we don't know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why would she be wearing a swimsuit? Hey, look, you know what? It's it's her mind. You know, she was thinking about this. She didn't put a lot of thought into it, though. But, yeah, who knows? You know what's crazy? I have over a billion energy to spend in this game, and I still don't think we'll even get through a portion of it just loving up Zaku and Lelouch. That's how nuts this is. Like, absolute bonkers. <laughs> guys watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Absolutely bonkers. Is it, well, yeah, it, it's... Or is it Charlie? I always get confused. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is more about Charlie, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is more about Willy Wonka. Which one am I referring to? Not not the creepy one, the good one. Charlie and the... Yeah, that's that's the... No, the, wait, is it Charlie or Willy Wonka? Okay, it is Willy Wonka. Okay, it's Willy Wonka. My bad. It's Willy Wonka. What is your favorite... Um, actually, before that, could animals obtain Gios or being... Or being guiased by users. I'm not sure. Probably. I mean, if it me like could a monkey theoretically use it, or perhaps a dolphin, because they're pretty smart, or even a pig. I think it depends what the Gias power is. I mean, if it was like Rollo's, probably. If it was like Lucia's, no. So but Gias manifests differently on different people, so I guess it depends. Favorite Kogias couple. Um, that's debatable between Layla and Akito and Illusion C2. I, I go back and forth, but in forth between the two. I really like Layla and Akito, though. They're they're a great couple. Kiriyamoto. Oh, you know what? That's actually a good call because I was looking. I'm like, this guy looks familiar. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Kiriyamoto from uh, Gundam, right? Yeah. Actually, yes. In fact, if you look him up, let's look him up real quick. Kira. Yamamoto. That's a really good call. He has a very Gundam looking face. I, I keep doing that and I should stop doing that. Let's see. Yeah, that's 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 pretty that's yeah. Good call there. Yeah, he does look like him. Because it, it's a brown hair and purple eyes, which is what the character looks like. So it's a good call. They were rushed. Everything about Jazzard Code is rushed, okay? This is the most rushed game ever. Everything is rushed in this game. Characters, um, the story, the gameplay. If you guys watch A My Foot of the gameplay, you'll see that like they have to rush stuff. Like the image of the cares in the corner, they had to rush that part. Yeah, it's not good. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This this game has it's got problems. I got good summons today, but that don't fix the problems with this game. Not even close. Not even close. He can't unsee. All right. All right. Now we have to do this part of Zaku. I know it's it's a pain. This is a lot faster though. Uh, let me do the loose first to make sure I have enough versus Aku. But yeah, I can do that as well. 
the reason I uh, oh I'm sorry I I, I got to read my comments while I'm doing this. I heard Asaku was born out of the words like of Kiriyamoto, so this whole thing is is very ironic. Really, where'd you hear that from? I've never heard that before. I've never even seen Gundam Seed, so I should be clear. I've never actually watched that show. I heard it was not good, and of all the all the Gundam shows, it's the one you don't watch. So. Still have a dent in that one billion yet. Okay, and finally here. I have so many items, it's crazy. I can just keep doing it for days. For days. Okay. And the cool part is because I have these characters now, when I do the um like anything with them for battle purposes, I'll get more items. So that's cool. All right, now let's go to Lelouch. <laughs> one down, one to go. All right, let's do this. <sighs> All right. Well, I, Koki S was made by Sunrise, and Sunrise made Gundam, so I assume they'd have some, you know, resemblance and some art. Gundam, Code Geass, make some references to it. Which, which references from the original Gundam does Code Geass, um reference? Did I say that right? Let me try that again. What does Code Geass reference from the original Gundam? It's been a while since I've watched the show. I know there's Amuro, and he has that cool Gundam model. They're going against Char. There's the blonde woman who's Char's sister. Spoiler, I, I guess. There's, there's that one tank Gundam. There's another Gundam as well. And then... They're fighting against the, um, hold on, what are they called? I can't keep these names in my head. They're fighting that, that whole, uh, they're fighting against that army. What are they called? This is really sad. I, I want to, I should probably give my Wii book, my, my anime card away. I can't remember their names. Gundam Enemy Forces. What are they called? Come on, what is the name? Don't. All right, let me just type in Gundam Shark because that will. Zeon. It's Zeon, right? Yes. Zeon. Okay. I, I thought about while I was searching for it. It's Zeon. Zero is literally Shar. Okay, that's a fair point. I mean, I, I, I think they're. But. Oh, no, again, I don't remember Char's, Char's character too much, but he was a bad guy in the story. And yeah, he was trying to do something good, but I don't recall him ever being considered a good person in the story itself. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, yeah, I, I guess from a strategy point of view, they both wear masks. Like, Char wore the... Um, he wore a mask. Lelouch wore a mask zero. There's a big twist at the end, like figuring out who's who. That was a whole big plot point in the story. Because again, that blonde one was his sister. I forgot her name. Zaku's like Amuro. Well, Zaku's more like um, I would say Shinji, but but again, that's where it came from. So I, I guess it kind of works. Uh, wait, it's interesting that Lucian C2's daughter have a few powers of code bearers. It's not impossible to say abilities are inherited. Yeah, but they never said it before though in the story. Like, yeah, they basically are saying this is canon now, but I never thought that was canon. That that like opens the door for a lot of things. Now, granted, we've never seen a code bearer reproduce because V2 is obviously too young, and Charles got the code before after he had kids. So we don't like. I don't know. I mean, she to live a long life, but I guess she never fornicated anybody. So that'd be a really stupid story. He's like a lost child from a, from a, a older relationship many years ago, but uh, yeah. I didn't think that was actually a thing, but apparently it is. You can the code can be transferred through reproduction. That makes no sense based on everything the story has told us up to this point, but whatever. Oh, I did not know that. I don't know why I asked that question. Um they can have children. Like, are these like factual things, canon stuff, or this is just people's theories? Because I, mean, I guess in theory they could, but I just didn't know that they. Um, I didn't know that uh, the story ever said they could. 
El Ellen can die, but she's not more like C2. Well, that's not what that means. C2 is physically 16 a little older. She's never a little man like... True, true, she hasn't. But, I mean, even flings, right? People have flings all the time. You know, I mean, she's over 700 years old. You're telling me she never found one dude who was like, even for like a one-night stand? Eh, I, don't, I don't know about that. Congrats on getting Suzaku. Thank you. That was... This whole day was awesome for someone. I got all the characters I wanted. And even some I didn't know I wanted either, which is pretty cool. Like we have, I got Lelouch here, which I'm working on right now. And then I have Zaku, as, as you guys know, Jeremiah, R2C2, and R2 Lelouch. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, no, no. She never loved a guy before Lelouch, but she's 700 years old. I mean, she could have met some really cool Chad, you know, back in the day who was like, hey, what's up? And then... You know, do the deed. I don't know. I ain't saying C2 would do that. I'm just saying it could have happened. You don't think Lucian and C2 would want children? Um, well, I mean, you never know. Why, why wouldn't they? C2 clearly wants to have a family. She let's take, I mean, she took care of Lelouch when he was, you know, brain uh, zombie Lelouch. As some call him, but I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't, to be honest, or why they wouldn't want children. Lush wants to be the dad his, you know, his father couldn't been. Well, that's me projecting, of course. He's never said that, but that'd be my theory on why they want to. Louis Jeremiah is very good. I know he is. He's very good. Since you didn't watch Seed, I'll put it like this: Zaku and Kira are two similar characters. It's just that one is very flawed character. The other one is a, is a Gary Sue. Guess who's who? You know what's funny? I honestly can't tell you because, well, no, I'll say Kira is a, is a Gary uh, Stew because while Zaku is really good at playing Nightmare Frame, which he is, the uh, actually, I should put this up here. I'm like, I'm not even responding to <laughs> that comment anymore. But uh, even though Zaku is very good at the Lancelot, he's hated by many people. He goes through lots of struggles, he loses many battles. So, I would say Kira's the Gary Stu. Ryan, we did not have look look who I'm loving up right now. That's Emperor Lelouch. Let me let me finish it real quick and I'll show you how we did. But it was pretty good, dude. You, you missed um for once, for once we actually had good summons. I know it's crazy, it's weird for me to say this out loud, but uh yeah. I, it was it was pretty cool. C2 did have some one night stands in the past. Perhaps she was got pregnant a couple of times, but she most likely got an abortion or something. That's, I mean, we don't know, but that would be my assumption too. And again, she can instantly heal, right? So for her, it wouldn't do any damage to her body. But yeah, we don't know. We're just, we're all speculating here. We don't know about C2's past. Today was a very kind day. I agree. Yeah, let's let's do Oz because I want to I get through that story already. Even Resurrection will be okay, but I wonder if they want to wait until they finish the manga or they're going to do strictly just the film. We'll see. I heard Lactus is similar to Euphemia. Um, is that the blonde girl? I'm not sure who that is. Let's see. Lactus, uh, Cheyenne or Klein. She is from Gundam Seed. Well, I'll say one thing about her. Without even like watching the show, Get out of here. God, these ads. She looks just like you, female, like the same hairstyle. And she's got pink hair, too. Yeah, she looks just like you, female. That's interesting. Should I watch Gundam Seed now and, like, comment how dumb it is? I, I heard I heard it was really bad. Oh, and she likes Kira, too. Huh? Did they, fall, did they fall in love with the story? Just like Suzaku and Euphemia? Um... Spoilers, I guess, because I cared. Oh, look at her. She's showing her. Oh, yeah. I think she does look. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, since we're here anyways. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They, they do the um, Gundam Seed has all the nude intros. Gundam Seed's very like that. So relationships. Let's see. Kira. Yeah, they're romantic. Okay, I get it now. I totally get it. Okay. 
Kira is more beloved than Zaku. Um, <laughs> and I said, so yeah, Luge has kids now. Yeah, he didn't know about it, but apparently he had four kids that were all made 16 years after his existence. The pink hair girl is Kira's girlfriend. Yeah, okay. Oh, I agree. It's kind of random. I know they're clones, but people are referring to them as kids. But yeah, they're they're technically clones, but they were talking to them as if they were they were their children. But yes, that's true. Lacus uh Klein, whatever. Yeah, she she apparently she falls in love with uh with Kira. There you go. Least favorite ranking of the Black Knight Nightmare Frames. We got the Gwang, the Shakiro, the Gurn Mark II, the oh, we're done, finally. Uh the Shen Hu, the Zangetsu, Borai Akatsuki. The, <laughs> the Zangetsu Borai Akatsuki, Gekka, and Sarlin Sieg. Well, I'll say as much, the Sarlin Sieg is probably my least favorite because the Sig the Siegfried was cool, Mon Sarlin. Uh Zangetsu is my favorite of these one listed. Then probably the Gwen, no Shinkiro, then the Gwen, and then the Gurren and Satan elements. Which did you list that here? I guess it doesn't really count, but we'll put it there anyways. Uh, Katsuki and Borai, Gekka, no Shen Hu might be my least favorite. I don't know. I, I don't like the problem with Shen Hu is that it's not a bad nightmare frame, but Balu, shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Well, the problem with the the, the, the Shen Hu, it was such a plot device nightmare frame. That's what, hate, that's what I hate about it so much. It's not even a bad nightmare frame. It's just ugh, the circumstance with it pissed me off when they used it to defeat Colin. It was just ugh, turn 10, man. That episode pissed me off. I used to really like it and I realized how dumb it was when I went back to the show. All right, almost done. Is Lucia Tactic Strategist guy here? What was his, his type? I don't know, whatever. All right, next. We're almost done. I love Zangetsu. What's wrong with Zangetsu? It's like, that's my favorite uh, nightmare frame. I, I love the way it looks. It's just so simple and badass. It's got the cool red hair, the yellow eye. It's got those two turret guns. He has like a um, a rain wave surger shield. I don't know. I love, the, I love the Zangetsu, man. It's so cool. I'm a simple guy. I got simple taste. What can I tell you? The Satan, the Satan A elements is pretty cool too. I'm not gonna lie. That, that's a cool nightmare frame. That's that's one of my favorites as well. The only thing it's similar to Rock Shada is the fact that it had the um the chest cannon. It's kind of like the Raining Wave Surger, but yeah, you're right. Other than that, it's it's kind of random. The Iron Frame simply kind of was interjected to the story because they made Colin too OP and they had to find a way to get her out of the story. And they that's why the the, the manga, by the way, the the Lucifer Blind manga of found Iron Frames is somewhat better because in that story, Colin's not captured by the Britannian forces. We haven't gone there yet, but she wasn't captured, so at least they found a better way to utilize her character for the broken Nightmare Frame. Uh, this is for you, Ryan, if you're still watching. As you see, we got Suzaku, uh, Knight of Zero, Emperor Lelouch, C2R2, C2R2, R2D2, just kidding, R2 Lelouch, and uh, Jeremiah. So pretty good day. I'm not going to lie. Let me just uh, give Suzaku, let me rank him up to the max. So I know I can now. And finally... There we go. Okay. Man, I don't know where to go from here, but uh, we'll figure it out. Do I have any uh, code links I have to get rid of? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do, because I summoned a bunch. <sighs> All right, let's go through the level ones and twos. I'll just, I'll just scrap those real quick. Uh, let's see. What do we not want? How about none of these? Definitely none of these. Oh, Akito, he's so cute. Yeah. Big brother. Akito, die. Will the kids be playable? I hope not. And I mean that in like the nicest way possible. I really hope not. Okay. Is Cornelia, um, do I have all of hers? I believe I do. Yep. All right. Sayonara. Okay. Now let's go to the threes. 
must love this really engaging gameplay where I'm just <laughs> taking inventory for like an hour. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Okay, there's Rallo, as we call him, Rallo here, or Lolo in the um, in the Jazzer Code store, which is kind of weird. Okay, that's do that's good. One thing I don't like about the Shenhu. Oh, no, I read the one already. A Ford Shenhu is only cool or only a good nightmare frame for the Chinese Federation because the rest of the map they're kind of generic. That's true. And the kids won't be playable. Um, I I would I doubt it. My voice just like got really high pitched there. It's like I don't know, but probably not. Look, Nina's not playable yet, so you know we got a long way to go. Oh, we're we're almost done with this guy. I like using uh, Ashley, so the sooner I get this thing finished, you know, the better. Okay. Sweet. What else I got here? I have the Letta Cornelia and the Temple. I believe these are all ones I have not finished yet. There's the Temple. We're halfway there. Okay. This game can be, unfortunately, painfully slow at times. In your opinion, who are the three hottest girls in Code Geass? Well, if you'd watched my video, I made it about I made that one a while ago, but if you want the short version, I believe I ranked uh, I'm not watching the video because I don't want to go through it, but I think I put uh, it's Cecile's number one. I mean, you guys already know that I have to tell you. And then I think I have Cornelia and Sheba, or I have or I have Chiba and Layla. I, I think it's I think it's Cecile, Cornelia, and then Either Chiba or Layla. I always get those confused. Um, let me go through. Or no, I think I put I put C two. That's right. I, I put C two in there. Do I have a? I, I have like notes. Do I have it here? Let me take a look. Um, oh, you know what? I got it. Wait, hold on. I'll tell you in just a second. Hold on. I should, have, I should have your comment up here while I'm answering it. I'm like looking at different things here as I'm doing this. Okay. So now to answer your question, the three hottest girls right now I have are... Differences. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I have on his list... Yeah, it's Cecile Krumi, C2, and Cornelia. And the next three are Nagisa, Layla, and Colin. But yeah, it's Cecile, C2, and Cornelia. I think Cornelia's hotter, though, than C2. But that was most beautiful. If you're talking about just, like, hot, lustful, you know, just purely looks and nothing else, then I would probably say it would be... It probably would be Cecile, and then Cornelia, and then probably Layla. For just, just pure looks, and that's it. But uh, obviously, looks are not that important in the long run when it comes to relationships or really anything in life. But you just want to know the hottest, and yeah, that, that would probably be it. Because the Nightmare Frame from Chinese Federation uh, are Gunru and uh, Chuvin. Yeah, I, I see your point. And, um, the Chuvin, when was that shown in the story? I don't remember. Maybe it's the manga or something. I don't remember seeing that. That doesn't mean any. Uh, me not seeing something has like literally no relevance. I mean, I went through um because Ryan suggested it. I went through uh Lancelot and Gurren, and there's some messed up stuff in that manga. Oh my god, I should review it at some point. There's a I was reading and I was like, what is going on here? It was just really uh it was disturbing. Like I was not expecting from a code Geass manga to see that level of yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just, I mean, I'm I'm kind of over, um, I'm overdoing it here, but still, it's like, whoa, whoa, okay, a little a little too much there, guys. Okay, uh, to our four, we have this one, which I believe goes to Orpheus, which I don't have. So, well, I don't think it's, I think it's just Orpheus. I don't have them, so it's just kind of sitting here. It's a cool uh, code link. I'll give it that much. I'll level it up real quick. Great. All right. 
Okay, now um, let's do some gameplay. <laughs> Guys, we've spent one hour and we haven't even played the game yet. I mean, we haven't done like actual gameplay. We've done, um, we have done what was it called? Like summoning. But we haven't done the actual gameplay yet, which is funny. Okay, so I'm going to take out Colin for Lelouch. I'm going to take out C2 for Suzaku. I'm going to speed through this just because, you know. Bam. So cool. I got 30 from that. Not that great. And then Suzaku. 30 from that, too. Okay. We got, oh, we got a lot from that. Great. All right, let's go back one. Oh, it's been actually several hours. Let me hit the, um, let me hit the this thing here. Okay. Now back to here. I think the next banner is going to be. Uh, it's going to be. Give me a second here. Uh, the Gurren Satan Eight Elements. I'm pretty sure that's the next one we're gonna get. Which I really want to, of course. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's the the Gurren Satan Eight Elements. Oh, hold on. Actually, no, we'll keep her in. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm. Hello, game. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, game. <laughs> um, I love the art for both these characters here. It's pretty cool. I like the, um, hold on, I'll go back to here. Not this one. I like Lance and Gurren manga, but it gets pretty dark. I saw Aku side more in Colin. It felt like Colin didn't get much focus. Yeah, and then, I, I won't spoil anything, but those two characters introduced in the story, like, what was up with that? I hated the way they ended it. That really pissed me off. It was, it was a cheap way to, like, get them out of the story. I was like, come on, you really went to that one? That was your idea, you know? So... That really pissed me off. Again, I'm not gonna no spoilers, but if you read the manga, you know what I'm talking about. It was bull crap. Those characters deserve better, and that that pissed me off. Zaku did get more time than Colin. That is very true. Very true. Five. Here it is. Awesome. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that. And then Saku. Do you think Lucius is more a villain or a hero? In my point of view, he's both. Well, in my analysis, I kind of broke it down by it depends when the story we're talking about because. Early on, I think he was more of an anti-hero hero type of person, but then at some points he was a straight out villain. But then you have the Requiem where he actually does a lot of good, which puts him more of like in the anti-hero category, which is kind of where I, I see him as anti-hero. Because he did some messed up stuff in the story. Like there's some dark stuff that he did that, in my opinion, was extremely uh, unredeemable. At the same time, though, he did bring peace to the world, so I have to look at it from that point of view. It's it's like I have a hard time wrap, wrap my brain around. Oh, my God. That art's pretty cool. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Maybe this is just me, but Persona 5, is that just me? It looks like Persona 5 art style. Is that Maybe I'm just crazy there, but that's just me. I think it looks like Persona 5. Here, you know what? Let me, let me look it up real quick. Persona. I play that one day. I have the game, which I never got a chance to uh, play it. Is it like a certain pose a character does? Um, let's see. Me, I'm crazy. I, I wouldn't be surprised. 
I don't know, it, it kind of looks like Persona's art style. You know, it's just me. Anywho. Jeremiah versus General Grievous. Oh, backstory? Well, here's the problem. I don't know much about uh, General Grievous. I know in the comics, he had like a big story, but in the, the films, you know, nothing, unfortunately. Okay. So I took care of that. There's so much more we have to do here, but uh, let me first go through the... Wow. It's a lot of energy, which I'll never use because I, I mean, I will use it, but I will never run out, I should say. So I didn't need it to begin with. Okay. Uh, let me just see something. Oh, let's go to the store. Let's go buy stuff. Yay. Let's buy stuff. Okay. Uh, look at this. This is really adorable. I love this. Um, the thing of Suzaku and uh, Euphemia. Let me finish this off. I guess all I can buy for now. I can buy something else. I want to get all these, of course, but uh, I guess later we'll take care of that. Oh, here I got to do some selling because I, I summoned a lot today. I mean, let's perspective. 298 Valettas. Wow. 298 Valettas. That is crazy. 180 Guilfords. Not as crazy, but, you know, still pretty crazy. Excuse me. Excuse me again. I keep burping on stream. It's really gross. Look on the other screen there for a second there. Is it common knowledge, though? You mean amongst other people? I don't think it's common knowledge. Is that? Because the impression I got from Resurrection, people still don't know what happened. And the truth is, we still don't really know. Like, how could they know what happened? I, I don't know about that. I, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one. I'm pretty sure that that's not common knowledge. But I'm willing to fight on it, but I don't think that's common knowledge at all, actually. But also, for let's let's um actually before I read your go through that comment real quick. Yeah, that's a good point. She didn't get much in R2, so they kind of they kind of screwed her over twice. Okay, so now, now to your point about like this. Um Oh, everyone here. Okay, fair enough. That's true. But, okay, I, I still have mixed feelings about that because if you remember, before the accident occurred, he was going to have... That was weird. He was going to have Yuffie do the shooting to begin with, right? So he was intending... Uh, he went there with the intention to do that, but only changed his mind halfway through because... Euphemia surprised him. So he went in there with evil intentions. Even though there was an accident that eventually, you know, that he didn't want to do, he did go there with evil intentions. Never, never forget that. He went there to, to cause problems. Even Toto's like, he's going to assassinate, you know, Euphemia. Just something to keep in mind. But let, let's put that aside for a second, though. What about the Gias Order Massacre? That was completely unnecessary. And people, like, completely forget that, that even happened. They don't even discuss it. Everyone's always discussing about the kiosk, the um, the Saz massacre. Nor talked about how Lush killed women and children for literally no reason. I mean, okay, it was for no reason. It was not for a good reason. I should be more clear with my my words. He didn't do it for a good reason. It was completely unjustified. Especially since we learned later on that like it. The whole massacre in general was a was a horrible failure, and I could discuss that in great detail in our video at some point. But just on a base level, that whole thing was messed up. Do you think Collins waste potential? Uh, unfortunately, kind of. <laughs> He 
he said he was going to have Yuffie shoot him, then he would become a mortar, and they would like the riots would break out. That was the plan, I believe. But it ultimately failed because Yuffie surprised him. But he went in there with the intention to make Yuffie do some messed up stuff. So it's very important people don't um, forget that. Okay, we're talking about KG. Good. He, he went in there to cause problems. And boy, did he cause problems. I don't want solutions. I want the problems. And all right, we'll finish. Well, who cares? Actually, I care. You're not worth it. Moving on. Um, so every three is done. Ex where, where, where's Mao? Is Mao done? Yeah, everyone's done except for Jeremiah, which I'm not wasting my threes on. So Jeremiah and who's the other one? Mao? Or oh, no, Ashley. So we got Ashley, Gino, and Jeremiah. Everyone else is done. Great. Well, at least among the characters that are uh, not limited. Limited characters, you see there, got a long way to go. Okay, so Cornelia, we can sell out. And the most frustrating part is, eventually, these coins will have no value because, uh, how would I put this? Uh, you can't use them for gold stuff. So eventually, I can't even buy anything with these. So it's kind of depressing. The game eventually forces you to like have to get gold or forced to get gold, which is so stupid. In Lost Stories, you can trade your extra stuff for anything. They don't care. It can be limited, not limited, for, not for. There's like no limitations on that one. I know how like one game got it so right and another one got it so wrong is, is mind-numbing to me. But uh, that's just how it goes. It's 55,000. Oh my god. They got a really change system here to put some kind of exchange in there where you can you can give your silver for gold because eventually I, I bet you the whales who played this game must have like a billion of these freaking coins they don't spend anymore because everyone's maxed out already. I often wonder like what are you even doing with all these resources? Probably nothing, you know. Even with the game is pathetic attempt to limit your spending per uh per week. I, I don't know. The game's decisions or decisions is a strange way to put it, but and then we got a cog. Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. We'll get to the fun stuff in a moment, but I just gotta. All right, cog. Yeah, and then um, V two, and I believe that's all. Great. Okay. Great. Now, if I if I go out. Now we can buy some stuff. So we need Ashley. Still not even close to unlocking him yet. We need KG. Uh, Mal's done, I believe. Is Mal done? Ugh. I just checked. Are you a moron? You just looked. All right. I. I'm sorry, guys. I got to check this one more goddamn time. Did I finish Mao or not? I did. Okay, so Mao is done. It's just Gino, Jeremiah, and Ashley. 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 Gino, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Gino, Jeremiah, and Ashley. Where's Gino? Gino. Okay. Don't forget he had a hand in Chili's father's death. Very true. And everyone, and of course, everyone in Narita in general. That was a pretty messed up situation. What's your thoughts on the original idea that Lush made Colin stay by? The kiss her, which probably takes place in the same scene. Another one, thirteen coins of the creators. All to make her stay. Oh, I kind of would have liked that because it would add more tension to stuff and it would have made things a little more complicated. I don't know if it means in a good way though. Well, I think it's fine the way it is though. But uh, that would have forced romance stuff or into the story, which may not have gotten that point yet. So. I wouldn't mind that. I don't think you need to have that in there, but I wouldn't have been against it.
Yeah, he, he definitely did. Uh, I, I just don't know why no one talks about the the Kiosk Horror Massacre. I mean, that was that was awful, uh, and it's like he didn't. Matter. Even Toto, Toto, all his his brilliance, he couldn't even bring up during the meeting. Oh no, now we're gonna turn nineteen. But I'm just saying, he couldn't even bring up during the meeting. He had all the evidence. It was right in front of him. And he's just sitting there with his thumb in his butt, thinking, "Should I present this to everybody? I don't know. It might be useful information." No, nah, I'll just sit back and do nothing. It'll be fine. You know, like, come on, man. That was your chance. That was your moment. And you you blew it up. You ruined everything. Ooh, we got uh, attackers and bishops. Awesome. Uh, more of that. All right. This is going to be a lot of fun. I have not... I don't win these, so it'd be kind of cool. Lost Story is a way better item system. It's more simple and straightforward. Absolutely. The entire system of Lost Story is way simpler. It, it it knows what it is. It doesn't try to do anything too fancy. I uh, completely agree. Like, no arguments there. They um they knew what they were doing. Okay, let me swap out Colin for Suzaku. What's Pablo Lelouch for? Huh, I thought it'd be a lot stronger. Eh, whatever. That's what it is, I guess. Let's swap out... Um, we still need Colin in there, but I guess that's fine. Uh, Sasaku. Sasaku. Yeah, he's got he's got he's got good stuff. All right, let's go. All right, guys, now you're, you're going to see um, Malusian action, which I know you guys are really excited for. So let's see what happens. Let's see who's going to win. Some girl in a bikini or Lelouch in the ever outfit. I'm just kidding. That's Layla, but um, you know what I mean. <laughs> Some girl, Bikini, or Lelouch as the Emperor. Here we go. Oh, it's brutal so far. What do you think of that, huh? Finally. When your whaling goes successful. <laughs> I didn't even whale, but you know what I mean. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Victoria. All right, let's move on. Let's get this guy's ass next. Cause I'm just in that mode right now. Um, do I want to play Zalush, though, with, like, Kalen or Layla? Right, I'll put Layla in there. Basically, only S has bro characters. We're going against Julius Kingsley, R2 Lush, and a girl in a bikini. I think we're going to win this one. Domination. How powerful are the C2 characters in the game? Uh, well, the original is pretty good. The Christmas one, what used to be good, and now it's kind of been power crept. The I should, I should do a tier list for you guys. I, I've been thinking about it. I want to do a tier list. There's a YouTuber who does like Gundam Evolution stuff, and I'm like, I should do that for Koki Ash Genesary Code. But anyways, the, um, what was I going to say? The C2, is like there's a Summer C2. She's pretty good. R2 C2 is good. The Christmas one is bleh. R1 C2 is also good. So I would say they're all good except for one. It really is, though. Isn't it, isn't it satisfying seeing them in combat? I, 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 I can't disagree with you. It, it is very satisfying. It's just so cool. I'm glad I got both of them. And I can make them even stronger in the game as we progress. Uh, C2 in that boob job they gave to her for some, some reason. I don't know why they did that, but... Uh, Here we go. Speaking of C2, we got two right here. 
We got um, Summer C2 and R2 C2. See? They're going fast. You got to be careful. <laughs> they're gone. Okay, well, that was fast. Yeah, they're OP. They are very OP. I cannot wait to use them in like the next part of this, which is going to be even better. All right, let's do one more uh, battle. Even though I'm almost out of resources, but why not? Let's kick these guys' asses next. 2C2, yeah. In fact, we can even... Here, let's put C2 in there just for fun. Just for fun. And... Yeah, that's good. It's fun. I want to get myself into at least the top 30% before I stop because then I can you know, cascade throughout the whole week. Yeah, C2's with Felouche. How apropos, it's great. That same alpha, too. No casualties. That's insane. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Just understand, the creator said that, not me. I didn't make that up, okay? I just took what they did and presented it to you guys in some weird fashion. So don't like, don't be hanging on the messenger, okay? I just gave, I mean, they're the ones who gave me the message, all right? Well, not, not directly, but you know. All right, now we got to do something more fun. So now in this game here, I'm stuck on two levels. And I'm going to beat them right now because my team should be powerful enough. To stop them. We're going to find out, though. What if Michael Bay directed Kogias? <laughs> well, we'll be watching whatever it is now. I mean, the show is already kind of crazy. To, to be honest, some of the parts in the show get like, yeah, not very good. Um, it'd be a lot of explosions. Like, insane. It would just be nightmare frames destroying each other. It'd be like kind of like uh, Lost Stories, but just... It'd be really crazy. Uh, okay. Don't want Callan in here. Callan. You know who kept saying that? It was um, uh, DX kept calling her Callan. It was so frustrating to listen to. It's Colin, guys. It's Colin. Always been Colin. All right. Let's do Team uh, Lelouch here. So we're going to have Emperor Lelouch, Birthday Lelouch, R1 Lelouch, and then Anya, and then Zaku. <laughs> it's such a random team. Here we go. Should be good stuff. Hopefully we win. This is still gonna be difficult, even with the advanced uh, cares I have. It won't. I'm not expecting this to go easy, so we'll see what happens. Hoping that uh, the overwhelming power should help. Oh shoot, Lucius is already Lush is already taking damage. Come on, really? I should have put Nolly in here instead. My bad. Come on, Lucius, you're supposed to be supposed to be stronger than that, man. Yes. Oh no. Oh shoot. Oh, that's bull. Okay, we'll have to go out. Hold on. All right. We'll have to try again. If you lose a character, you don't get the full thing. So I want to get the full thing. Uh, let's, uh, let's substitute uh, Lelouch birthday for... Yeah, and I'll move him. I'll put him here. And I'll substitute this one for... Uh, maybe Euphemia. I don't know. That might be a good idea. Put Euphemia in there because she can boost everyone up. You know, that's that's pretty good stuff. I'll get rid of this one and I'll replace his with uh, this. Okay. Let's 
give it our try. There's no reason why I should be able to beat this. I have like the best team. I guess I could put Jeremiah in there if I really can't beat it, but. Where's the miles? Okay. The music, the music is not bad here, actually, surprisingly. Why are we find gigantic um, Gios guys? I have no idea. Nelly, do your thing. No. Ugh. All right, we gotta do my bullshit tactics to win this. I hate doing this, but I I don't see a better solution. We're gonna have to do this the boring way. There's always the fun way, and then there's the boring way. This is gonna be the boring way. So, what is the boring way, you ask? Well, basically, you take your best attackers, and the very end of the battle, you have them release all their attacks at once. And then you freeze the boss, and then boss dies, then you, you take them out. Again, very boring, anticlimactic, but uh, if that's what it takes, that's what I'll do. Let me put in um, I mean, uh, attack boosting. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. All right, let's do it. This is my best attack team. Hopefully, if I do this correctly... Um, yeah, I guess that's good. We should kill for everyone in a couple seconds, which we're going to see here in a moment. Hopefully. Here we go. See, we're blowing them really quickly here. Damn it! Wow! Um. Wow. Well, <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Uh. Next strategy, I guess we can do is so we'll swap out for Nunnally. We'll give her the something. I'm just gonna help her out here. Where's the. No. I guess this one. Alush needs to like stay alive, man. He can't protect himself. We'll give him a shield. And that might be good too. Yeah, we got we got to save our, our blast to the very end here. Because we're getting destroyed. We should be winning this. What the hell? My team is way stronger. Ugh. Emperor Lelouch, Emperor Nully. It's great. Oh my god, that wasn't even enough. You gotta be kidding me. Yes, your majesty. I like that. That was cool. Finally. Finally. Did it. Not bad. It's 80 million. Pretty solid. Yes, your majesty. Okay. What's my current score for the event now? 
Probably not great. Oh, a B. All right. I mean, hey, look, I'll take it. But I was expecting, you know, I was but anything. All right, this is probably suicidal, but let's just see how bad it is. I will try it. Uh, don't expect anything good, though. I will give it a shot. Illusion Zaku are pretty powerful, but I don't think we're strong enough to contend with the will of the Gias or whatever the hell we're fighting, honestly. I don't even know. Here we go. Oh my god, it's already, already rough to begin with. Hey, that, that Gias plan is fast as I can right now. Yes, your majesty. Oh, he said that's great. Yes, your majesty. Colin, who were you aiming at? The enemy was over there. Pay attention. No. Oh, fudge. I wasn't paying attention. I screwed up really badly there. I don't think she had any parents. She was, no, no, she did, right? Because she was sent to school to train adequate or adic adequate. I don't know why I said adequate. She wasn't adequate. That's why she was trained to learn adequate. Anyways, I believe her parents did send her there. So what happened to her parents? I'm going to make an assumption that uh, Charles used the Gias on them. So they forgot Anya was even a thing. That'd be my assumption. I could be completely wrong, though. And Zaku's rocking right now. The guy's a freaking monster. Yes, your majesty. Oh my god, it was like nothing. What the hell? It was like almost not effective at all. Our, our best strategy, our best tactics there didn't do anything. Losing Saku is, is, is dead. Like we're we're fudged. We can't win without him. All right, there goes that. Zaku still loves saying that. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> you know, he might. He just might. Just a curiosity. Can I level up Shinkei without wasting my, my resources? If the answer is no, then I'm not doing it. Let's see. Now, fudge. I guess we can we can rank Zaku one higher. I was going to anyway, so I guess it's fine. Okay. Will that help? Probably not. But hey, we'll we'll give it a shot. I'm beginning to feel like I can't beat this. Let me try replacing uh, Colin with uh, Shinkei. I know he's weaker to Rux, but he's really powerful, and we need him. Wait, how's Colin better? Okay, I guess we're not putting Shinkei in here. Um, Anya's just an all-around really powerful character. Maybe she's in the wrong code link. Maybe I should give her, I don't know, something else. Like, uh, oh, this is a good, I love Miles. It's pretty powerful. I'll try a couple more times and I'll move on to Lost Stories because I'm getting the impression like it's just not going to happen. I'm trying, but I don't think it's going to happen. Mm hmm. We're getting close every time, though. I can at least say that, but. I think Zaku's better than Lelouch here. He's actually pulling his way. Lelouch is getting, like, his butt handed to him. But Zaku's just killing everybody in his path. You know, the monster he is. Yeah. 
Oh, that was bad. I think I just, I think I messed up big time. Yep, messed up big time. Come on, Ellie, stay alive, stay alive. Damn it. Oh, damn it. We're screwed. It's over. It's over. I'm trying one more time. <laughs> I was like, if she's dead, we're, we're. Oh, WK, welcome, buddy. Okay, well, let me show you something before I do this battle. Here's my summons in case you want to know how I, how I went. You see that? See the summons? Suzaku, uh, Knife Zero, Emperor Lelouch, C2, uh, R2, C2, R2, Lelouch, and Jeremiah. Enough said. I think I'll, I'll move Jeremiah to 100 next if, if I'm still having problems. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, he's doing a good job, Zaku, but the problem is Nully is not staying alive long enough, and we need Nully there to heal everybody. That's her only reason to being on the team. I could maybe put Layla in there or even, like, you know, uh, Watson, but all right, we'll put Watson in there, but I'm telling you it's... Uh, well, whatever. We'll find out. You'll see. It's not a good idea. It's not a pretty picture. I don't like doing it. Well, we're going to find out. Okay. We'll try Watson in there. He's he's a good character, but I don't know if he's good enough. You know, he's good, but is he good enough? We'll we'll, we'll see. Technically, our battle score is higher, so we should win. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's -a go. <laughs> Oh my god, Lucian like died in the first second. Look at that. His HP dropped like ugh, to dangerous levels. And we just started. Come on, Lush, get together. At least Watson's doing a good job. What was that? What the hell was that? Lush, buddy, you're not pulling your way on this team. Don't make me boot you because you can't do anything uh, useful here, buddy. You, you pull your weight. Okay. Um, I, I guess I could put in our guy with a beam. Maybe that would help. <laughs> I don't know. It's something like that's a really stupid idea. I'm on the domainic right now. Um, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give, okay, let's go back up. Let's go back to the top, back to the top. One more time, okay. We'll give him this ability. And I'll give this Lelouch because he has like literally made out plastic. I'll give him the uh, a shield. He's so squishy, he gets like taken out in a couple seconds. Oh my god, you see that? Look where his health meter went. Near to zero. Okay, let's still taking damage. Luke just has to stay alive long enough so we can use the ability against the, the Lancelot Albion or the fake Lancelot Albion. Okay, okay, we're doing good. His health came back. That's a good sign. All right, now as long as I can just time this right, we got a chance. You're saying a chance? There's always a chance. We can do this. Okay, okay. 
All right, we're, do we're doing well. Nobody die here. Okay. Oh, I know what time to write. I was so eager to hit that button. Nope, I missed it. God dang it, we're all dead. We're all dead. Okay. Oh. This game literally, if you do not time it right, you just, you die. Just like that. Not only. Um, let me see something. <laughs> he just wants to die. I want to die. Do I have one building currently? Okay, so maybe I can get this one going. Uh, let me, which one is it? Is this the attack? I got the attack. I don't know. We'll just. I'll do this one. I'm not sure which is which. He just wants to die. <laughs> I want to die. We all want to die. Why? Because he wanted, you know, that, that funny uh, Rick and Morty thing. We all want to die. Okay. I'm going to try one more time. One more time that we're going to lost stories. One more time. I promise. No more. I know you guys are getting sick of me dying over and over and over and over again. Okay. Um, let's try. I know it didn't work. But it almost did, so in theory it could have. Let's see. Should I put Rollo? No, nah, I'm not putting Rollo in there. I'm not that desperate. I'm gonna try Shinkei. Uh, we'll, we'll like you know, I'm gonna try Shinkei. I'm gonna use Rollo's Gias, and hopefully. Hopefully that works. And if it don't, well, hey, look, we tried. You know, we tried. We'll try Rollo's Gias. It's pretty powerful. It's extremely potent. It has a very long um, ability to pause the enemy. So if it works, it works. Otherwise, I got nothing. I'll have to do some tinkering. Look, I think I think Jeremiah probably helps out too because his, he debuffs every but thing, which is just insane. <laughs> God, Lou's always a punching bag. Guy like. All right, I said I'd try one more time and I failed. All right, it's over. I'll, I'll have to figure out some way to win with with Lou's because right now he's just not he's not having it right now. He keeps killing us. Like, oh, hold on. Let's go to the new characters I got before I quit. Or put in, I'm sorry, not quit, but put into, um, well, you'll see. Let's see. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is really cool. Okay. So let's, swap, let's swap him. Man, either way. That's so cool. All right, next. I don't know why, but Suzaku looks so much better. Look how cool Suzaku looks compared to Lelouch. Hmm. R2, C2. I don't got our alternate version yet, but... Wow. Did you say Renji? Oh, Orange Boy. That's funny. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to do a little character parade before I quit the game for now. もらったのはいつかみんなで散歩の仕方は私が守る星の
So many characters. It's crazy. One day, Renya, you'll have your day. One day, we'll recognize who you are. But that is unfortunately not this day. Um, I did look at the trailer. I don't, I don't know what it was saying. I didn't get a chance to like really look at it, I guess you could say. And finally, we'll end with Cecile, and then I will quit. Or not quit, move on. Two last stories. Check this out, though. Look at this new um, thing I got. Where is it? It's really cute. Yeah, look at that. Look how cute that is. Oh, my God. Okay, one quick thing I got to do here, though, is... Where's Al? I'm going to swap him out for uh, Emperor Lelouch. And then... I do. It's very adorable. I, I'm, I'm like, hmm, that's nice. We'll put in uh, Suzaku. Nice. Okay. I'll zoom in so you can see a close image of it. See? Let's go to like the center. It's really cute. Okay. Hold on. There we go. I don't know why, but there's like a weird thing trying to get this like smaller screen. Okay, now I have I thought about something that I'm going to try now for Lost Stories, which is I'm going to share my other monitor, which is not as high quality as this one is. And hopefully I can do a full screen of Lost Stories and not have it slow down like before. I have no idea it's going to work or not. It's just a theory. We're going to find out. Like, Actually, let me set up real quick. So get the game loaded up. Okay, I'll move it to a different screen so you, don't, you won't see in a couple moments. Put it over here. Okay. Let me do, um, I, ho I hope this works. I can't think of a better reason why it's not working. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to, oh, wrong browser, idiot. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna stop sharing temporarily. Oh, my camera's gone. Oh, it's out of batteries. Oh, one second. My camera's out of batteries. Okay, I gotta change that, give me a second. You'll have to enjoy uh watching uh, Euphemia and Suzaku just together.
Okay, and you know I can just use this one. That's probably better, anyways. Or actually, no, let me not do that. On the off chance. Okay, let's see if that works. Hey, look at that. I'm back. Okay, uh, let me just... Uh, oh, no. I wanted to turn the camera on, not the... Not the pot itself. Um, okay. And just... Okay. All right, now... What I was going to do is I have a two monitors set up right now. I'm going to stop sharing my screen currently. Hey, okay. and then I'm going to I'm going to share it again, but to the other monitor. So So now you should see lost stories. Do you see lost stories? Okay. Now, hopefully, it should move. It should have any problems. That's what I'm banking on here. But uh, we'll see. Now, let me go and change the volume. Okay. It looks like it's big and we're not having any problems. I spoke too soon. I shouldn't have said anything, do I know for sure? Let's see if it's slow or not. This will be the ultimate test. No, it looks good. I mean, it's a little slow, but like, yeah, it was the monitor. It was, it was just too powerful for it to handle. Okay, good. Good to know. I'm not crazy. I mean, I am, but, you know, different reasons. Okay, uh, let's do our free summon because you get a free one every day. And then I'll also do a summon for um, – I don't really care about this banner, but maybe I'll do it. I don't know. We'll see. Let's we'll see how the free summon goes. I don't even care what I get either. I'm, I'm happy with the Genesis Code summons that, you know. Check. <laughs> It's just Tamaki. I don't know why I'm staring at him. Who cares? Okay, I don't follow every single question I've been asked in the past, but I know you've asked me this question before. And I'm still not sure how that would work. I know you. I know you asked this in the past. I don't. I'm not really sure how you want to do that, or how that would work. Okay, we can do this banner, which again I'm not like too thrilled about. I mean, this Zaka looks kind of cool, you know. But I already have a lot of Lancelots. So I don't really care too much, to be honest. Um. See, so you can get um. The Valletta, and she's she's not that good either. Yeah, look, the, the percentage is pretty high for these characters, but I don't really want them. You know what I mean? Like, if I was to go to this banner to get uh, anybody in the game, yeah, it's just a much higher chance. I'd rather go from this banner, to be honest. That's what I want to do. Who are the best characters in Lost Stories? Well, technically Summer's T2 is, but I don't have her. Uh, the best characters in Lost Stories. Hmm. He said that I'm that great. Uh, 
Are you sure it was not the same alien? All right, fine, fine. I'll trust you're keeping track of this because I know I'm not. I remember answering a question like this before, but if you say it's different, then I'll, I'll take your word on it. I, I will, I'll take your word on it, but I, I thought I already answered this. Toto, all right. Nightmare frame helps, I guess. This creep, just kidding. Asahina. Can't spell Asahina without ass, am I right? Oh my god, two in a row. Lame. Minami, speed of lame, right? Uh, let's see. Chiba. Naomi. And our golden. Oh, C2. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Do I do this again? All right, we'll do one more time. One more time. Then we'll move on to some gameplay. Favorite character from Lost Stories. Oh, Valletta. Deadly Valletta. Um, Anya. And you know what? The Astro Lush is really good too. Tamaki. Bartley. Tamaki again. Ogi. Oh, nice. I love Dorothea. And our plummeties. You know it's serious when it happens. And uh, Schnitzel. Or Schnitzel, I'm just joking. All right. And Senba. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let me go do some inventory and then we'll move on to some gameplay. So Ogi, Tamaki, uh, Sahina, Chiba. Basically everybody. <laughs> Everyone's got to go. And yep. I love how you can just sell all your extras and you don't have to worry about like this occurred I can pay for anything and and you can also do limited unlimited like there's no restrictions of any kind. I don't know why uh Chancellor Code has that strange strange limitation. Oh, we don't have no coins. Bummer. One second. Mm-hmm. I'll say one thing about the thing since we're since you brought it up. Um if that character got involved in Kogias, it'd be really dangerous. Imagine it imitating Lelouch. Oh my god. We'd be in a lot of trouble. I'll say that much. Okay. Um, okay. I want the one where I don't have any... Yeah, here we go. No, that's not it. Where's the one where no one has... Oh, here's one. Uh, this looks okay. I guess we'll, I guess we'll do this. Oh, you said favorite new character. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I like the girl who, um, the girl who's with, uh, 
your guy. I forgot his name. The picture I, I posted. Forgot his name. I forgot her name. I like her. I'll tell you what I don't like. This girl, I can't stand this girl. Her hair is so obnoxious. Anyways. Her hair is so obnoxious. It just drives me crazy. Okay, so where's Dorothea? Dorothea, Dorothea. There you are. Yeah, she's pretty badass. She's badass. Okay. Anyone else I can level up? I'm going to go with no on that, but just checking just to be safe. It was mostly duplicates anyways. Oh, C2. That's 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 so I can level up. Okay. Okay. Um... I gotta level someone else up. So I guess I'll do Dorothy up because, again, I really like her character. It's funny. I don't know much about her, but I, I like her anyways. It's, it's funny how that worked out. Or it doesn't actually. It doesn't work out. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I love this slider, man. I don't understand why I lost. Why Jezreko can't have a simple slider like this. It's so intuitive and obvious. Yet they couldn't be bothered to put one in the game. Sweet. Okay. And now let me go out real quick. Got a lot of mission stuff I got to do here. We got a lot of gameplay in this. I'm, I'm really behind the, in the story. So get it? A lot of story stories. Anyways, um, I, I, I'm behind though. That's that's actually that's not a joke. There's no punchline. It's not a joke. <laughs> Hopefully one is all I need. I'm really hoping. Just once. Yeah, but we'll be getting them soon, though, so I'm not too worried about it. But you are right. Can I can I Dorothy or am I still like let's see? Dorothy, Dorothy. Actually, got her. What's her her situation? Okay, she's we just don't have her level up yet. Good. Uh Dorothy, I'm so stupid. Just go to the kings if you want to find her. There we go. Really? I gotta do this again. Take more sass from C2 here. That's what I want in my day. More sass from C2. That's how I like spend my afternoons. Wait, what's D-Turds? Is he already, already level up this point? Yeah, I don't know why he's like, no. Sweet. I could... Keep going with her, or we could check out their nightmare frame and see how those are progressing or not progressing. She's so annoying. I don't hate Rock Shadow, but this game is just so obnoxious. Lady, be quiet for two seconds. I can think. She's so loud. Just calm down for two seconds. Okay. Why can't I um 
Why can't I dismantle these? What, what the hell? Okay, anyways. That's weird. That'll make no mother friggin' sense. Why can't I just... Uh... Rakshata Chawa. Rakshata Chawa. All right. Uh, oh, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry for the menus right now. Really? Huh, I didn't know that. Very interesting. I should look that up later. What scene? Like, what, which people were being killed? Try to look up to know, to, to, to verify that. Okay, so the Tristan's almost done. The last slot is almost done. It's almost there. Not quite, but almost there. Both are almost done. This one I actually could level up. I don't have enough cubes yet. I like could easy get them. So let's do that actually. Let's go get some cubes. Ooh, get some cubes. Um, here we go. I have a bunch of nightmare friend I just picked up. Yeah, but right. I got so many of these bastards. Let's just do really? Let's do two. Okay. Great. Now I can level the Lancelot. She keeps trying to tell me stuff. I just don't care. Okay. Almost all the with the uh, Lancelots. I mean, this one is. I got eight nine. This one. This one's also eight nine to go. So we're getting there. The. Uh, Hmm, that's really tempting. Do I have a better option? I do. I should probably use that. Also this. <laughs> I really like this Nightmare Frame. I know it's not good, but I have like a soft spot for it. I'll level it up. It's just so cool. Look at this. It's got Hedrick. It's got Hedrick hands for fingers. I, I can't like I can't either right now. It's just it's just too cool. Plus, it's good for healers because you can move it around the battlefield. I gotta make a tier list. I'm like talking to like I should really make a tier list for this game. My personal opinion, anyways. Obviously, everyone has gotta have an opinion, right? So that's just my opinion. Okay. Now to the main story. 20 minutes in, we're actually playing the, the like gameplay time. Okay. Um, definitely not using the B team here. This stuff gets really hard, so you know this this could be difficult. Anyways, um, remember when when Lush talks to V two and three of them are wondering where he's talking from? You look closely; it's Urbe's eyes, dude. That's really specific. I mean, impressive, but really specific. Okay. So we don't need Yuffie. She can, she can go, go far away. I'm just kidding. But she, she needs, she, she has to go. Uh, what's, wow, what the, what is with the setup here? Was I drunk when I put this team together? Okay. Anyways, none of this makes any sense. The loose should use the, you know what? That makes sense. And she's using the the Lancelot. Okay, I guess that I guess that works. Hmm. It's just Gino being here upsets me a lot. So we gotta get rid of him. I think Gino's presence just offended me, anyhow. And I'll give Suzaku the uh, the Tristan. So we have one, two, three ways to regain cost. Alright, I guess that's okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I know, I know what you're talking about. I'm just saying it's really random. I can pull it up right now. You're talking about this scene, right? Oh, I forget. <laughs> Wrong monitor. Wrong monitor, stupid. I switched monitors so you can actually see the game thought of crashing.
This guy, right? Right here. This is Urube. Hold on. This guy here is Urube. That's what you're saying, right? This guy right here? Is Asuka from Evangelion? Um, I think so. I have a long time ago, and I, I say long time ago as if it really wasn't, but I, it feels like a long time ago. I put a poll out of like what topic I should just talk about in the future. And one of the topics was how Evangelion influenced Code Geass because it did. You have Asuka, who's like Collins, like Asuka. Lelouch and Zaku share many elements to Shinji. Cecile is basically Misato. Um, and you can keep going from there. Radnorak connection, and you have the um, the third impact. So. That's so cool. I love when they come out of the battle. Oh, crap. It's going really fast. Zaku? Um, Alright. Daisho? Uh, not yet, D-Tard. I can take a look right after I'm done to build this combat. I can't do like 10,000 things at once here. Um, I can have a uh, deter. Look, everybody. Why is he not? What the hell? Okay, whatever. So weird. He's not cloaking them. What are you doing, Detard? You're supposed to cloak them. Dude, what are you doing? It's that rug. I'm not even using uh, Zaku's power nightmare frame. Okay. Now I can actually address what you were saying. I just had to like finish the battle. Okay. Um,. You know what? It does look like Urube. I, I, I agree. That's uh, that is Urube's eyes. Um, we'll, well, I guess we could do a quick comparison. So, so here's this guy here, right? Now, if we go to, please go to turn two, because Urube has the scene in turn two. You know which one I'm referring to, of course. So let's see. Again, close. Yeah, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. 
Okay. All right, next point. What was it? Um, yeah, that's true. There's some weird thing there. What are we going to put uh, Will Ostor to add Oz and Akito? At this point, it could be any time since they put the Knights around and randomly, so we really don't know. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I agree. Yeah, I I made like a whole list of like things I noticed when I first watched first watch when i re-watched evangelion i was like oh wow they really took a lot the problem with uh the problem with the, the comparison is that there's so many things you could you could talk about you have i mean if you think about it, even the intros are similar you see the loose like his, his different personas you see shinji like looking at the distance in the intros those are similar um you have c2 anya and then compared to ray the father charles and, and genbu and then ugh. There, there's like I know I'm not saying a lot, but there is so many things the shows are similar in it. It, it, it would be a very in-depth discussion. So I, I love to do it. I, I gotta. I, I take the notes to do it though. I've thought about it for the longest time. Does everybody have a twin brother? Yeah, now he got twin brother, but he joined the Gios Order. Because they're, they're talking about that at the family meetings or gatherings, rather. <laughs> family meetings. Hmm. Um, that was okay, I guess. I guess we can keep keep going. We might need a healer at some point. I think Toto was basically worthless. No offense, buddy. I'm going to take you out for Yuffie. Or, no, Millie. Prefer Millie. And I'll give Millie the, um, the Palamides since she's really good with that. Yeah, okay. I watched it. I com um I commented on the video. Did you see my comment? I, I left one on there. Um I told Cato in the video that I disagree heavily with the majority of his points. And hold on, let me just uh I said I disagree with most of the points he made, and one of the reasons why is because I don't hate the guy personally. I think he's cool. I would love to have him on a stream sometime, but I just I feel like when people discuss turn nineteen, and I guess I'm gonna say about that in a second after this, but when people discuss turn nineteen, nobody really I hate to put this in, in like the meme way possible, no one really uses their brains when they think about it. I, I can't think of a nicer way to put it, but like you only look at the scene itself and you don't ask questions about like what is going on right now? You know, why is it these things are happening? Do these things make sense? And a lot of times characters just make assumptions. I'll give you an example. He said in the video that uh, Detard, that Cornelia may, okay, a lot of assumptions, why it's hurting my head. He said that when Cornelia assumed that Detard was looking into Zero the Den, he said it made sense. And my argument is, no, it doesn't, because we never saw Detard look into Zero's past, ever. The only discussion he ever had about his identity was in context to him being a student. And just a student, by the way. Not even a Britannian student, just a student. He was talking to Valletta and Jeremiah in stage 10. That was the only time he ever really thought about it until like stage 23. But again, it was about him being a student, not about being in the royal family. So Kato's like, that makes sense. And I'm thinking, no, it doesn't make any sense. You just, you filled the blanks for them. There's nothing wrong with putting pieces together if a story has adequately laid them out because Kokias has done that. But in context to this, it was like, no, the story has never explained or showed us that Detar was looking to Zero's past. So, no, it should not make sense that he would just randomly, yeah, of course I looked into it. Right, of course. You know, like it, it, it's just to really analyze why Turn 19 is so bad. You have to take a step back and just think about things in more detail. Let me give you an example or just to give some perspective here, okay? I finished the rough draft of the script for the video. I finished the rough draft. It's not ready for editing. I mean, it's not ready for, like, recording and stuff like that. But the rough draft of this video, okay, the script is, I believe, 42 pages. I think it's 42 pages. I'm not even joking. I'll even – let me just check real quick. 
I believe it's 42 pages. Let me um let me verify that. Give me like two seconds here. I gotta say to my um oh what am I doing? Oh whatever. I'm I'm taking the long way. I always take the long way. Give you some perspective here. Open up real real quick. King. Okay. So we'll get back to the gameplay. Okay. I can't, okay, I, I'm wrong. I'm actually well, dead wrong, okay? And I haven't edited yet, so this is just rough draft. The rough draft for the script right now is 47 pages. If I do about two minutes a page, which is never the case, that's going to be over an hour. That's going to be maybe an hour, 20 minutes, hour, 30. It's going to be a very... And I mean, very long video. Um, it, it's going to be a long one. I'm very excited to make it, but <laughs> sit back. It's going to be like a, um, it, it's it's going to be a, um, a long one for sure. Oh, my favorite. Oh, the Margaret's cool. Um, actually, hold on. Let's. Which one turns it on? Is this it? I think that's it. Let's see. I, I forget which one does. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, my favorite is the, actually the the glass the Gloucester. We'll say Glasgow. There is none. The, the Gloucester. I've watched many users who watch Tarantino don't even criticize how Black Knight believe magic, yeah, so and no question why they believe Schneidel. There are so many things. If you watch that Kato video, there's a comment that someone left. And in the comment, there were some really good points that Kato didn't even bring up. Like, okay, so if Lelouch, I didn't think about this, by the way, but if Schneidel was claiming that, hold on, I can't do things at once. I, 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 can't, uh, I can't do two things at once. Someone said in the video that, well, a comment, it was like, okay, so they believe that Lelouch had Gia's power, right? How do you know the family members don't have Gia's power? I'm like, that's a good point. They don't even question it. And it just it just keeps going. It's a mess. And it's it's a beautiful mess, I suppose, but a mess nonetheless. Yeah. That actually kind of happened in the in the Kogias manga, which then which I, I will discuss in the video. There was some that was part of that in that situation. What betrayals have done better? Um, you know, I <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind isn't even a betrayal scene. So I'm trying to think of an example of like what's done better. Um, let me think on that. Yeah, I, I'd I'd give it a watch. Just understand that he thinks the entire thing was fine. He he ju he justifies all the um, but plot holes and, and contrivances with a lot of, and again I say this respectively because I I always speak about this person and praise and stuff. And a lot of my videos, you guys know that, but a lot of his opinions about this are based on nothing. To put it, to put it simply, they're based on nothing. He just says things that are never confirmed by the story. He's filling in the holes for he's he's filling in the plot holes the best he can, but you really can't justify this crap. Like for example, he said that when the the, rec the recording went out, you know, when we played the recording about uh, you know Lush saying that he used Gias on, on Yuffie, whatever. He said, like, "What did he say? It was the black. It didn't matter if the audio recording was fake or not." The Black Knights already knew it was true before they heard it. I'm thinking, what are you talking about? What do you mean they already knew it was true before they heard it? They had no evidence to suggest that. Like, what? Don't just, like, that is such projection right there. I mean, it's just, you can literally take every single point he made. You, you can just, you can dissect it and destroy it easily because he he made up stuff. And and, and don't get me wrong. I, I don't know. I, I, I was... Kato is really smart, so I was kind of disappointed with the analysis. But uh, hey, if I make my video or when I make my video, and he thinks it's crap and he posts his comments on it, I'd love to hear his thoughts on it. But 
yeah, watch the video, open mind if you don't agree. Just keep in mind most of the points um, are they're they're not they're very they're based on things that I don't think are true in the story. He's making a lot of assumptions. Assumption City is basically the entire thing. I I honestly don't think so. Not that I know of. You can choose to assume that Cornelia uh, filled them in off screen a little about the Gias or stuff. She saw them, but I feel like that would make more concern more about the Gias users. <laughs> um, see, that's the problem. You got to assume. The story did too. The story wants you to do too much assumptions or make too many assumptions while you're watching. And in my opinion, you can't do that here because the consequences of the actions in turn 19 affect the entire story. If you really think about it, because I mean, after um, after the Black Knights betray Lelouch, I mean, what, there are so many things that happen afterwards that are destroyed by the story i mean the biggest one i would mention is that like the everyone knows how gias works all of a sudden like you notice how they all just know like hung was like we have countermeasures i'm like you don't even know how gias works how would you know those are countermeasures like oh we have like contact lenses that are or are, are, are glass that like stop against gias i'm like how do you even know that would work you don't know anything i like how detard's like we uh, not detail. Oh, he's like, we know everything about your Gias power. Everything, buddy? Do you know where it came from? No, you don't. You don't know anything. If C2 and the Lush don't know everything, how would you know everything? What is that crap? It's just it's just lines like that that just really really are just so bad. Like I'm trying to like you guys know I really like the show. I don't criticize it out of pure hatred. I criticize it out of my enjoyment of the series, but like I can't defend that. That's just so bad. If OE, I, I, I at least like how um I at least like how in the films Ogi didn't know how Gios worked. It was just like, yeah, you know, whatever. I just um we wanted to ask you about it. And Lush is like, okay, they don't know how my gas Lush says. Lelouch says they don't know how my gas power works. Okay, that makes sense. That was the right answer. I'm not against that. But the film was just like, what? I mean, the show is like, what? How would you like if how if the people themselves don't know how the power works fully? How would they know? So like. I don't know. It's not good. It's not good at all. Well, the thing the thing about um, C two is that in the films, Schneisel told them again. He somehow knew this that C two gave Alush the Gias ability, but for some reason, they never went after her after that point. You don't see the Black Knights looking for C2, even though she is just responsible as Alusha is for everything. They don't even bring that up. It's it's like so strange. They retconned to fix the story, but they accidentally made it worse. I don't know. It's funny, though. Forget about Rolo, which I do agree with you. No one quite having the no one questionably having the Rolo, but here's a bigger problem, right? They they call the um his room to see where he's at, and he doesn't answer, right? So your immediate thought is maybe he's in trouble, maybe he's in pain, maybe he's dying. No, what's their answer? Oh, uh, he's just busy, he doesn't want to show up to his own meeting. I'd be like, come on, guys. If I was any of those people in that room, I would say, Hey, if he's not answering the phone, maybe we should send someone to check up on him. Didn't, didn't someone say he might be injured? Maybe we should go investigate that. You know, get us medical attention. If he's like unconscious or whatever or injured, we need to make sure. Like, like the point is, 
the Black Knight's priority was all messed up here. Instead of making sure that Lelouch was okay before meeting with Schneisel, they met with Schneisel first and then checked on Lelouch because if Lelouch is injured or unable to, to make the meeting, then there's no meeting. Like, it, it's like, what? Why would you check on your leader first? They thought he was injured. <laughs> I just, like, what? It's just, how do you not, how do you justify that? It, it's, it's so weird. They never their presidency, too. They don't care about her. I just, like, check on your leader first. I did some research, by the way, on what a deputy commander can and can't do. And at least according to U.S. rules and, and, and succession and stuff like that, Ogi could have only made those decisions if and only if Lelouch was dead, incapacitated, or something in between. I guess that there really wouldn't be anything in between. But here's the thing, though. They didn't confirm that... I think a fly in my apartment. Anyways, I'll deal with it later. They didn't confirm that Lush was dead or incapacitated. So Ogi had no authority to make that decision. Okay, no authority whatsoever. And even if he did have the authority, which again, he didn't confirm if he did, he still couldn't, um, he still shouldn't have made that choice. And something else too that I was reading, which was, let's say they prove Lush was in fact incompetent or evil or didn't have their best interest in mind. Whatever bodily bloop you want to use. They would still have to have a formal process, a hearing, to get Luge out of power. You don't just take him out because you feel like it behind closed doors. That is literally the opposite of what the whole thing, the whole Black Knights and the UFM was founded on. So it's, the more you look at it, it just doesn't make any sense. It, having Lelouch um, removed behind closed doors... So stupid. I just <laughs> everything about that was so stupid. <laughs> Another question I have with Roll Chum to save Lou. He says big brother aloud. Why is no one crashing Lou's here as a little uh, a little brother? You know, I didn't think about that. I'll add it to the list. I'll add it to the list. She does. You're right. But the question I have is, how come no one looked for her? When the when C2 is outside, she's talking, like, by the entrance of the Ikaraga, Ikaraga, Ikaruga, you don't hear the Black Knight saying, like, hey, where's C2? Let's go after her. Or, what happened to that girl with green hair? Let's go after her. There's no, no um, discussion whatsoever about her. It's not a matter of them imprisoning her. They don't even check up on her. That's the weird part. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Not important. That could also be. I mean, the Black Knights thought about, I think they, <laughs> they put more thought into who's going to go to the meeting Okay, here's some food for thought. They put more thought into who's going to the meeting than the, than the decision to betray Lelouch. I think deciding Tamagi should be there or not be there took more brain power than saying Lelouch should just be, we should just betray Lelouch because, you know, why not? You know, that type of thing. Think about that. Tamaki joined the meeting was more important to think about than if they should betray Lelouch. They didn't at once, they never once reviewed the evidence, discussed the evidence. No, none of that stuff. They didn't want to listen to the recordings again, have a private discussion amongst themselves. No, it was it was definitive. It was definitive that Lelouch was zero, that he did all these awful things. They can't trust him. It was all definitive. The proof was like, it was in the pudding, as they say. No, no thought was put into at all any of this. I bet you uh, this is clearly you know speculation, but I bet they spend more time deciding what they want to eat for lunch in an hour later, <laughs> as opposed to betraying Lelouch. You know, it's just 
what toilet what toilet should they use next to take their uh, their afternoon dump um what else would be like a stupid decision they'd probably spend more time on i mean you you get the idea this is what these people do yeesh yeesh i'm like so frustrated and want to rant about this. I don't even realize I'm playing this game right now. I mean, I realize, but I don't really realize. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. But we expect all kinds of stuff in the video because I just like, again, it's 47 pages. Now, thanks to Ryan's, we have about 85. But, you know, it was 47 this morning. Look at this new location. We're at the airport. How cool is that? Very good point. Basically, the bigger the claim you have, the bigger the evidence you need to prove the claim. You can't just say stuff. And again, in Cato, I don't want... Cato was like, well... Ugh. Excuse me. Cato was like, well, I mean, he could be um, the, a prince of Britannia. I'm like, yes, of course he could be. Obviously, he could be. But it's like, you... Like, there's no, like... I don't think I have to say this, but I, I, maybe I do. If you were to say that he was their brother and prince, uh, upper ten, you'd have to like. Why would you just accept it outright? That's such a bizarre claim, literally out of nowhere. Regardless of if the story provided hints to the Black Knights or not, like you would need to like you would need to have how to put this. You would need. Very minimum, okay? And I still want to accept this, but this is very minimal stuff. You need birth certificates. You need photo IDs. You need um, video evidence. I don't know. I mean, I, I discussed um, a couple weeks ago that even if you had a photo of Lelouch in a Zero costume, that still doesn't prove he's Zero. One, the photo could be Doctor. Or two, he might have been Zero for a, a couple seconds or a minute or a couple days. But like, what Schneider was implying is that the zero that they currently work under is the same zero since day one has always been Lelouch. That is a lot to prove right there. That's a big claim, especially in the next episode. I believe it was Detard said, like, well, how we know it was the same zero? You know, anyone could be wearing that costume. I'm like, bro, did you just ruin your own claims? Detard literally went detarded and, like, fudged his own claims up by saying that. Well, how we know if it's the same zero? How we know the same zero? Didn't that means you? <laughs> what do you mean? How would you? Oh man, that discussion between um, Toto and Detar in the next episode, uh, turn twenty, was so bad. Should we tire one that Luch has Gias powers? No, they think we're crazy. No, you should have thought he was crazy. You guys know the same information. Uh, wait a minute. Huh. That's also not a good point. Dude, that's a really good point. I didn't even think about that. He did know Lucia the child. That is 100% accurate. He did because he was pretending Kira Ha at the time. All right. Well, I mean... He might have known. There's a there's an audio drama where they talked about it. He might have known the Luch. Let's say he did because he was in the area for a small period of time. So that's a good point. That's a good point too. Yeah, he was confirmed dead. That's very true. They don't even get Tazaku in the meeting, which is another problem too. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> there's like, there's just so many. <laughs> there's so many points. It could be its own series. I mean, the fact that I have to do like potentially a two hour video to just on a base level describe what is wrong with this whole thing 
tells you everything you have to know about the Gias or I mean the Gias betrayal. Why is Cornelia here? I'm dumb. That tells you everything you have to know. Literally everything. <laughs> have you guys seen uh have you guys seen Bugs Life? There's a line in that movie where once they find out that uh well I spoil alert, but it's a Bugs Life, you know, it's a Disney Pixar movie. And there's a part where the um which bug was it? Was it a Senate the, the grasshopper? No, I'm sorry. It was the ants, one of the lead ants. When they found that flick, recruit a bunch of um, circus bugs. So he said, like, was our entire battle strategy con uh, conducted by clouds? And I'm thinking, like, man, turn 19 in one sentence. Our entire battle strategy was conducted by clowns. Oh, uh, man. There you go. So we did talk about Lelouch. Again, it's it's been a while since I, I um said listen to it. That's why I thought I was I was in that auto drama and I was like, yeah, they did um I, I you're right, because he was aware of him. How are we doing here on the health? Okay, we're doing well. Oh, you mother chucker. Jeremiah, finish him off. Jeremiah, finish him off. There you go. Where, oh, you got to be kidding me. I, I, I can't do both. I, I got completely distracted. There are too many plot holes or logical aspects in turn 19. Yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> it's like, got to add to that? No, you nailed it. Wait, wait, what just happened here? Oh, okay, Vleta's not using it. Okay, because like, so this game can be a little confusing sometimes with the inventory. Okay, right. I'm gonna give her the Lancelot Club, or even the Gurren. Ooh, Club or Gurren? We'll go with Gurren. It doesn't ruin the story for me either. I'm not like, I want to be very clear here. Uh, why did you say clear here? It doesn't ruin the story for me. I'm just saying that, like, it's still a problem. Like, if you're going to discuss the show fairly, you should mention the good and the bad. That's all I'm saying. You know, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad stuff. Defending it to me is, is, is very problematic and kind of, kind of confusing. I will say that. It's stuff like Turn 19 that sometimes makes me that sometimes makes me not like the series because of how unfortunately bad it was. But uh, that's a whole other thing. They have witnesses that were Gios. You don't bring any except for Valletta and Cornelia, both of whom you can't trust because they're Britannians. Good point. Don't bring any of them. That's not a good point too, actually. I like how we're bringing like the what eleven people in here. Thanks guys for by the way stopping by, but like. We got 11 people in here, and we just saw like a bunch of things that were not discussed. Not, not even trying, by the way. We found a bunch of stuff that wasn't discussed here, um, proving how all this is just complete nonsense. Do you think Code Geass could remake, could work? Absolutely. Absolutely. They need to take, they got to take uh, R1, R2. Uh, Lancelot and Gurren, Lelouch of Billion RE, Rainy of Darkness, Oz of the Reflection, and make one gigantic show. I'm thinking like 150 episodes. I know that seems a little excessive, but like, yeah. 150 episodes. And it could totally work. Fill all the plot holes, fix all the mistakes, and tell the complete story. Don't make Zeta capture. Nobody cares. Make a complete version of the original series. Those manga add so much interesting information that 
I think you're really not like I've said before that you, know, you can watch R1, R2, and you get a, a you get the basic story. But there's so many little things that the manga and the uh, and the manga brings up that I think would be helpful. I mean, you have like, for example, Nunnally's survival in turn 18. It's explained in the manga. I'm not a big fan of the explanation, but it's there. It's something. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure if that's as big as a problem, but it's definitely something to bring up too. Of course, they don't even call the meeting because you know who cares what who cares what she thinks, but you know. Come on, D-Turd. Got a... Where's my mouse? Oh, no. Oh, no. My mouse disappeared. I hate when that happens. I know it never happened, but I always feel like R2 needed to be remade. It was rushed, so I definitely agree. Mm, I'm not sure they should do that. That'd be a little complicated. But they, they should remake it, that's for sure. Oh, you mean like the stage 26? Yeah, I guess they could have done that route. How did... Oh. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. They never discussed that. I have a theory that he ejected before it blew up, and they made it seem like he didn't or something. But no, I have no idea. Kogi asked Barry for the school setting. I mean, yeah, I, I, I will say the school parts... Are some of the weakest in the moment uh, in the series, but they are they do have some relevance to the series. For example, um, they show you the how do I put this the dichotomy of Lucia's life for it. one, and he's trying to, as he said, run a school festival, but also lead a coup d'etat. That was a joke, but there is some truth to that. Where because he has two lives, he has to constantly uh, deal with both of them. There's a good part in I think it was stage twelve where Shirley gave him tickets to that concert, but Ogi gave him tickets to, um, not tickets, but invite to go to Kyoto. So Lush was like confused where the hell he was for a second there. When they do that stuff in the Ashford Academy stuff, uh, the Ashford Academy scene, it's pretty good because it shows that Lush is trying to balance a double life here. And, and he's not alone because so is Colin. So they're both dealing with that. So in that respect... I, I think it can work, but sometimes the Ashford antics like Millie with all her disgusting bullshit, to put it lightly, that stuff ruins the story. But just having the Ashford, Ashford cam doesn't ruin it for me. But some of the circumstances of that, yeah, I'll, I'll agree. They were, they were not great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we all can agree that the uh, the spin Zaku was the strongest weapon in Kogia, so <laughs> <laughs> the dark night is just <laughs> Oh, the dark night. I do want to probably discuss that in a live stream. I, I'm still going to do that at some point, just for fun. Because that, man, that, everything about that just irritates me. <sighs> the dark night, man. What a, what a bad movie. I, I, I can't put it in any simpler words. Just, just what a bad movie. Should I put Guilford in there? Man, man, 
All right, Luis, you got to go. Sorry, I need a better uh, shooter than you. Like Dalton. Dalton the Chad, he can do it. Okay. And if I'm placing, I can... Hmm, I'm going to put Guilford in there. Where is Guilford, though? Okay. Well, his cost is pretty low. They were just trying to develop Lucius' character through his actions as a normal person and try to show like the the dichotomy of the peaceful school life versus the rough resistance stuff. That that's what they were trying to do. Was it always a success? No, no. And, and you know, I'm I'm 31 now, so I don't really like high school sayings anymore. I think it's it's weird and awkward as an adult. Especially my age as an adult, because 18 is still an adult. But I'm trying to like my age to watch that stuff. It's just I can't relate to it anymore. And there's also weird stuff, underage crap, where they're trying to like like the fan service in your face. It, it's you know, at, at my age, it, it's just really awkward and weird to experience that stuff. Could they do another series where they're in college? Sure, like like Tokyo Ghoul. That can totally be uh, a thing. I don't know. Even then, I'm I would be related anymore. I'm not in college, but. Um, but to add to your point, though, or to, to kind of say what you're – to agree with you, yes, that's why they, I think they had them. And also they wanted to appeal to different demographics. You know, as Kogi has Max, it has got hot women. It has high school stuff, magical powers. I mean, uh, a waifu like C2, it tried to appeal to different demographics. And, of course, pizza. Pizza is the most important demographic it was appealing to. <laughs> Don't know what that demographic was, though. Um, let's see. I'll put Zaku here. <laughs> Only after everything else is done. So when they finish everything I just said, then we can have Zeter capture. Until then, I don't want it. You know, finish the more finish our stuff first. That that'll be my uh, recommendation to these guys. I've also heard people discuss like the um, there's also the idea in the story where I think this is this is purely interpreting and it's never this is just an a uh, an opinion that's never been stated but the high school also shows like an alternative of what Lucia's life could have been and when Shirley dies he'll never have that life again. Like her death was was the end of any normal life he could have had, and they were trying to show what. It, um, oh, damn it! I also just whistled there too. They were trying to show like what his normal his normal life could have been. It's kind of like in um. I hate to bring this up. I really hate this film, but in Evangelion 1.0, 3.0 plus 1.0, there's a part where actually it's a large part where they go to that village where a lot of the people have survived since the third impact or parts of their impact rather. And the point of that part in the film was to show like Shinji could have a normal life at some point. So I think they were trying to do the same thing here in the high school stuff. And I will agree. I think both were not handled well, but that was the, the idea behind it. However, however, uh, properly handled it or improperly handled it was, that was, the thought process at least but i will definitely agree it was not it was kind of meh it was kind of meh i know we're probably the school uh, school stuff in our one but our two felt pointless since your identity was revealed well, only to some people, but yeah, I get that. Also, Nelly wasn't even there anymore, which is a problem because they're trying to keep her safe. So there's that as well. Oh, damn it. All right, hold on. Hold on. Damn it. Right, in Steins Gate, they were just working on like they were part of like the, the the lab thing. I forgot what it was called. It's it's been since I watched it, but yeah, that's true. They could have done that route as well. 
all these different ways to handle the same thing. It's very true. Unfortunately, I have to protect uh, protect my balls. I, I got to protect them. Um, uh, see, Cecile needs more help, so I'll have to bring in um, Angry Pants over here, uh, Nagisa, to help out. Let's give her um, a shield so she can just block. Just block, lady. They need some way to show Lelouch in a more uh, a different setting to, to help him build his character and have peaceful times and to contrast the bad times or the war setting. But they chose high school, which is a very lazy approach. And some of you don't like that. And that's totally fine. To me, I have bigger fish to fry with the series, so it doesn't bother me at all. But for those who did, I get it. I don't die, Chiba, for crying out loud. Oh, yeah, she was. Don't freaking die. Might. She's already taking damage. God, Chiwa, you suck. Why do you suck so much? And enough troops to cover all this area. We need Valletta to help out here. Hopefully, um, like, hopefully, Krennic can cover the whole thing herself. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fudging kidding me. I, this is so annoying. I don't have Detar with me. I think Cornelia is good enough to stand her own, but. Oh, of course, they're blind spot. You bastards. Hopefully, we can survive long enough. No, Cecile's gonna, Cecile's gonna, Cecile's gonna die soon. Oh, we got no one to protect it, though. Anybody? Jeremiah? Jeremiah? Somebody? Anybody? <laughs> Poor blood is getting destroyed here. Do you mind not killing my men? Okay. Zach, can you take him out? My boy took them both out. Good job, buddy. Okay. Uh, Millie, do your thing. Thank you. She healed. I used full heal. Okay, switch. The plum is so good for healing. Very good. Okay, now we gotta wait. We just gotta wait now. Not even all that. I think it's good. I need more. I want this video to be in a, a one-stop shop, a full, you know, a, 
complete comprehensive guide or discussion. It's not really a guide, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> She's always screaming in this game. It's so irritating. The soft Reba was annoying. I will agree. I don't know. You can go all day with this. The problem with kiosks when you open up that door and you don't know how to handle it, just you, it can just there's some place you can go with this and the story. Well, as you know, of course you can. Absolutely, you can have a joint file the Ashford Academy. Valletta today. Finally. Did she hit them from there? <laughs> oh, yes, she can. Nice. Such a cool looking nightmare frame. Yeah, because um, the reason why is because Schneisel doesn't know what he's talking about. He was saying, like, hey, he has a Gias power, and they're like, okay, great. But there could be other Gias power. What just happened was a Gias power, you know, with uh, Rolo. Yes, uh, to answer your question, I do. So here's the thing. I have two video ideas, and since you're present, you can give me your thoughts and what do you think about them. The first one is what I, remember, I had a poll today about, which, as far as I know, it was not the mostly picked topic. But I still think I, I want to do it anyways, which was, so Tenma and, here, let's see. So, so far, it looks like, so it was not the mostly picked. It was Roy and Riza, and then uh, Misa and Light. But anyways... I wanted to talk about how Tenma and what's what's her uh, Tenma and Ava, and how the relationship in the story evolved, and more importantly, why it failed, why it was always going to fail. Because Monster, unfortunately, when I see you the Monster, it's always like three things: it's either the ending, Johan, or one person does character videos. But that's usually it. it's it's Johan and the ending. That's it. And don't get me wrong, those are interesting topics, but like Monster is a good character study or a good study in general about relationships and why they fail. Like every character you meet had some problem. Like Mar Mr. Mar left his wife because he smoked too much. Uh, I believe um, Richard also drunk was a drunk. That's why his wife and him, they got they got separated, I believe, divorced. Um uh, the guy that he meets in that random village who helps that uh, old lady out. Um, I forgot his name. He tried to do what Tenma did, and that didn't work because he never paid attention to his wife. And so when she died, he didn't even realize it until she died. It didn't even matter to him. Uh, uh, Rudy, his wife, they got divorced because they had problems. I mean, there's always constant discussions in the show about how everyone's relationship kept failing in the story. So I wanted to bring up how Ava and Tenma was the biggest example of it and what we can learn from that. Because in my mind, I think people don't really understand, myself included, by the way. I'm not like, like why relationships are not working anymore in society. And Monster, despite it coming out so long ago, it nailed it on the head. The problems with couples and, and what people expect and things like that and what it's, I can go all day about it, but the point I wanted to discuss that in the video. The other idea I had for Monster was this is random as, as hell, but let me throw it out there anyways. You know how in Last of Us 2, I'm sorry to bring that up for those who didn't like the game, this, this guy included. You know how in Last of Us 2, they were trying to make you feel bad for Abby. Like the whole point of the game was to make you feel bad for her, her redemption story, everything she did in that game in that game. But nobody did. And I was like, 
why did nobody care about Abby? And I realized it's because she didn't have a good redemption story. And then it dawned on me. Monster has a bunch of redemption stories. Monster is so much better at explaining this. Like, I'll give you uh, one example. So, you know how Abby gets Lev and the other person from that random group of people? I Again, I haven't played the, I never played the game. I haven't watched the story in a while. But anyway, she, she saved those people, right? And because she saved those kids, it was like a um, redemption story of some kind. But the problem is it wasn't redemption because the kids had nothing to do with Joel or Ellie. They were random people she helped. Was it a good act? I Yes, it was. Does it redeem her as a character? No, absolutely not. But in Monster, as a character, I believe it was the, the soldier and the girl, where he was in Vietnam, I believe. This is this like really cool veteran soldier. He was he did like um all the advanced military stuff. He he trained uh Tenma for a couple weeks. Anyways, he killed this woman's mother in Vietnam, I believe, and he took her daughter to raise her. Now that's redemption. Because he literally took action to make up for what he did to the person. Yes, the mother is dead, but he's taking care of the child because that child meant something to the mother. So he made up for what he did. There's a connection between the person he hurt and the action he's taking to help out that person. It, but with Abby taking care of Lev and the other person, they have nothing to do with Joel. So it's not redemption. It's a nice act, but it doesn't redeem her as a character. So if you didn't like Abby before... You wouldn't like her now. So there's a bunch of examples like that in the game where I could compare it to Monster, how Monster accomplishes in a couple episodes what Last of Us 2 can't accomplish in like a, was it, two, four? I don't know how long the cutscenes are, but it's like a really long game. Couldn't do it. Monster was so much better at, at that idea of redemption stories. Those were two big ideas I had. I was like thinking about this for, you can tell me thinking about it for a long time because the way I ex explained that, it's been in my head for forever now. Those are two ideas I wanted to do for like the longest time in relation to Monster. And maybe I will in the future. I, I could definitely get those out relatively quick. Obviously, I got to put the script together and, and get my thoughts out there. But I don't know. Monster is such a well written story that there's just there's so much to say about it. But again, it, it kind of sets me that it's just Johan or nothing else. And I can't like I get it, okay. Johan's cool, but like there are other things about the story that are good too, you know. Lots of good stuff. It's not not just Johan. Oh, I fudged up here. But it's all right. No one knows the difference. Well, I do, that's the problem. Um, let me take out all this seal. <laughs> So, Gabriel, that was a long answer. Hope you stood around for my nonsense, but that's what I've been thinking about for a while. One of those videos will be coming out, at least a relationship one. I think that's a really good video in general. And it also helped me understand things better about the show in general, like Martin. And what was the purpose of Martin in the story? Because he, he actually had a real um, – he actually was very important in the story, but that's just, you know. Anyhow, I wish Johan goes up and kills the BK. <laughs> He'd make them kill themselves, actually. Hmm. That's funny. Shadow was researching uh, the ruins of Kind of Islands. I imagine he knew about Gaz back then when he was dropped for it, too. Yeah, that's why in the films they tried to show that. I missed your comment earlier, uh, W. Keegan. I love to see a vehicle person illusion. Hello, Johan. Okay. Something like, see, that's another thing too. And again, I don't want to give away the whole video, but heck, you know, who cares? Um, Abby never even has any regrets about killing Joel in the entire story that I'm aware of. In fact, at the very end of the game, and normally I, I would say spoilers in general, but it's Last of Us 2, so I don't even care. Do you care? I don't even care. But uh, in that game, when Ellie spares her, it's just because she thought what Joel would do or something. Like, there's no, um, it's not because Abby even reflect on her actions. It's just, well, I, I shouldn't do this for some reason. You know, I killed all her friends and stuff. 
like the logic and the writing was so so bad. I I just don't understand you know what they were thinking. Or I guess better to say that they weren't thinking when they put it together because like why are you forgiving Abby? She didn't do anything to deserve that. I mean, Ellie had to be like, yeah, I know my dad did to your dad. I understand that. Okay, I feel bad, whatever. But Abby's like, nah, I don't care. And and I should also point out that um, I don't even care that Abby doesn't feel bad about it, okay? There's nothing that she has to do that. The problem I have, though, the story wants you to feel bad for her. But the story also made her commit one of the most heinous acts in the game and never has any um, regrets for doing it. So you can't have both. You can't have a a, um, a cold, hard villain, but also make us like this cold, hard villain. You, you can't do that. But fucking the redeemable characteristics. Abby has none. You know, Last of Us 2 came out like several years ago. It still pisses me off to the state that people actually defended it. And more importantly, the fact that it, the Ryan just, it hurt. I loved Last of Us 1. I actually have it. Hold on. I believe I have the, do I have it? Hold on. Yeah, right here. I have the PS4 remastered of The Last of Us 1. But I enjoyed it. I love this game. But I, I'm... I'm not playing. I have never played Last of Us 2. I just watch gameplay footage and reviews, just like you guys did as well. Um, are you saying relationships will always end up failing? Uh, just curious, that's all. Um, not that they always will fail, but people don't go into them with the right understanding of, of what it means to be in a... Let me say that one more time. It's not that relationships will all fail. It's just that most do because people... Don't go into relationship with the right understanding of what matters, right? I'm mean, gonna give you some basic stuff. You guys already know this, but like looks don't matter, obviously, in a relationship. You should be attracted to your partner, but like that's about it. Like you thirsting over people and lusting over people won't give you a long relationship. It doesn't really matter. Looks are like they're important, but who you are as a person is more important. Or the idea that you should be focused on what you give versus what you take. Like, for example, uh, Ava was with Tenma because she wanted to move up in the rank. She wanted to become the director's wife. She didn't care about Tenma or what he wanted to accomplish. She just wanted to be the director's wife of the hospital. And Tenma was only with her because of the father's research or the ability to do research. So that's why they were a bad relationship to start with. Neither one cared about helping the other. That's why the relationship was to fail. And that's why most relationships do fail because people don't understand that it's not about... People worry about the stupidest things that don't matter at all. Like income or... Okay, income's important. I shouldn't say it's stupid. But like stressing over like a certain amount of income. Like a, you got to reach this one point or, you know deals off or whatever that that type of stuff and how we got into this top well actually i brought it up to be fair i did bring it up but just just stuff like that that's a really high level but it, it's more or less of like people are kind of superficial and which leads to superficial expectations in the relationship and as a result people aren't happy and people don't stay together unfortunately That's why Ava and Temo was a, a good example to discuss because in that case, the um, they both learned throughout the story that they both learned that what they really wanted in life was not to be with each other. And they didn't realize that until much later in the story. And, and that's what I liked about it, where, where Ava realized that she never wanted to marry a guy like Tenma or be with a guy like Tenma. She wanted somebody like... Um, she wanted Martin. Martin's a guy who is, he's a criminal. He's, he's rough, 
rugged. He'll take you to a bar, go drinking. He's just cool and he'll protect her. He's a, you know, it's that's what he, she always wanted. She didn't want Tenma, but she was convinced it had to be Tenma because she was, she had her mindset was messed up. And a lot of people, unfortunately, don't like, even though Martin's a really good guy, a lot of people never give him a chance because just look, I mean, you guys don't know, sorry, if you don't know about Martin's character, basically he, he didn't kill anybody, but he took the blame for it. His uh, girlfriend was a drug addict, I believe, and she was cheating on him with another guy. And uh, she killed herself, but Martin took the blame for it. Then he killed her boyfriend. And so because he did those both actions, he, he went to jail. He's a criminal. He dressed like a thug. He walks like a thug. He, he's a very, like, rough kind of guy. And most people would be like, well, you know, he's kind of a piece of crap. I don't want to be with him. But it turns out... He actually has a very sweet soul, and Ava was like, this is what I always wanted. You know, this is the kind of guy I wanted to be with. So that's what I love about Monster. It explored those concepts behind the scenes because you're right. Monster is not a relationship story at all. It's just not one of those. But if you peel back the layers, you can find that stuff. That's all I'm saying. But just because things are bad, we can always you know, we can always do better. We don't have things don't have to stay the way they are now. It's just it's you know that's where we are. But oh shit, I'm trying to have a, like a deep conversation about life while also like playing this game. But it's oh no, oh no. This is my bad. I screwed up anyways. I told you guys I messed it up and. <laughs> I totally did. Yeah. In fact, you, you know, there's when you we hear about a couple in Hollywood that stays together for a long time, like Matthew Broderick and was it Julie Roberts? No, I'm sorry, a uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Like those are not common in Hollywood. That's that's like a rare occurrence. Cause they've been married for a long time, I believe. But generally speaking, yeah, they don't last long. Of course not. That's why, like, Jennifer Lopez has been, like, every single person. Now she's back with, um, what's her name? Uh, what's his, what's her name? No, what's his name? Um, I forget. Affleck. She's with Affleck. They were, like, dating a long time ago. Now they're back together. I think they're even getting married now, I believe. But, yeah, high woods and mess in general. Like, there's, there's so many things going on now. Like, that whole Adam Levine nonsense. And it just... It just, I don't know, it never stops. But yeah, it, the because no one gets married or together for the right reasons. Or they get bored because they didn't want, the, you know, they're not getting what they want anymore. Yeah, Ava was definitely very self-absorbed in her relationship with Tenma. I mean, in the first episode, you know, Tenma is explaining how choosing that, um, the, uh, the opera singer, over the mayor's wife, I mean, sorry, over that Turkish woman's husband. Different. He's like traumatized by this and trying to like, you know, cope with this situation. And all Ava can say is, listen, don't talk about work while I'm eating. Get lost, you know, like this is disgusting. Ava doesn't even care that Tema is feeling moral issues about what he just did. And all she tells him like, listen, all lives aren't created equal. Okay, get over it, buddy. People die. And that's exactly what Tenma does not believe. So the fact that she goes off on that, it just shows you like how these two literally did not like each other. And they were together for the wrong reasons. And that's literally opposite what Tenma believes. He believes, he believes all lives matter. They're all equal. And when um, in the end of the story, well, there you when Ava talks to Tenma again, she realized that. She was like, why would Martin want to save my life? Because Martin believed that nobody wants to die, which is, it's not even a belief. It's like, it's actually built into our, you know, our biology. But that was just why that was so powerful because she finally understood what Tema was trying to tell her all those years ago. Yeah. Anyways, you guys want to hear a discussion about that, but uh, here you go. There you freaking go.
<laughs> All right, what's going on here? Let's see. Okay. Dead. I think we're good now. Everyone's in the right position to succeed. This game is all about that anyway. Placement is like so important. No. Dalton? Dalton! Wake up, buddy. Are you alive over there? Chiba's doing okay. Guilford's all right. Um, damn it, she died again. <laughs> Chiba, why are you so worthless? <laughs> I love this character. Why do they make her so crappy in the game? <sighs> All right, I'll put Gino in there. She and no, we'll put Gino in. All right, Gino, you're in, buddy. Tagging, tagging you in. Whew. I still can't buy God Illusions as Aku. Man, what a freaking awesome summons. I know it was like two about an hour, two hours ago, but damn. So cool. Meanwhile, at the airport. この Okay, so now I think we're good. We have Gino and uh, Guilford. I'll get Cornelia here, and that should cover all our bases. There we go. Okay, we're good now. All right, autopilot, go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I hope to get that video out by uh, end of the year. Hopefully before that. We'll see. Dalton? Thank you for stopping by, dude. I appreciate it. All right. How much more do I have to do here? We're almost done, I believe. You know, it's funny the story. They don't have Mao in here for some reason. I know it's really bizarre. They have the cable car scene, but there's no Mao. I don't get it. It's really weird. You'll see in a moment. It, it's it's really weird. Akita Leia versus Roy and Hawkeye. That's a hard one because I think Roy and Hawkeye had more time to develop. But Akito and Layla, I mean, if you think about it, they're actually quite similar because Hawkeye saves Roy from going too deep into the hatred and darkness. And Layla saves Akito from the same thing. And through both of them, uh, Roy and Akito were able to come out of the dark. But uh, that's what they're asking me. But they're, they're actually very similar, which is why I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. 
or unintentionally brought it up. I don't know, but I can't even decide like which is better. But uh, they both have a very similar relationship with the characters. Although with Akito and Layla, it was clear obviously they were dating or they were in love. Roy and um, Hawkeye was kind of like behind the scenes. You had to actually, um, you had to notice certain hints and stuff. By the end, though, I mean, he hugs her, you know, but until then, you don't really realize it. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's crazy. Even I'm not, even I'm not that ambitious. I'll just have Suzaku cover like this. Okay. Um, I wouldn't want to get attacked by those bastards. I'll come over there. But just like laying waste to them, it's great. So can Vleta crush everyone here? Okay, good. She's got that covered. I'll put Dalton here and hold him between those two sections. Wave. Oh, I guess we're good then. That might have been overkill. Whatever. Might. Not sure what you mean by that. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't backfire what I just did there. We'll find out. Nice. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. That's, that's, that's what I thought you meant, but I wasn't, um, I didn't know for sure. Well, yeah, that feels going to be, uh, I mean, I don't know when it's going to be done. I, I, Right now, my priorities are to get the um, to get it obviously the script edited, but also to get that that um, that event, the first year anniversary for Jessica Code completed. That one I gotta like, I gotta do that one. That's gonna take a while. Oh shit! So that was getting overwhelmed. Dalton, wanna help out a little bit? <laughs> Saved by bullshit. I'll take it. I would just say my bullshit over there. Okay, we're going to pause. Oh, I can't even put them in there. Oh. Okay, so. Who the fudge did I just kill? Jesus. Who was that? Anyways. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, she's damn it. Owned. Oh. 
Oh, hell, Britannia, indeed. Or I think we're almost there. What's this? Oh, this one's a this is a fun one. Do have enough people guarding the um got two that's probably enough let's go baby this is gonna be a fun one Whew. but yeah for some reason in this story they um they don't have uh mao because mao would have been the next character in the game but it's really weird I, i'm almost done I'll, I'll show you what i mean in a second here Oh yeah, they gave us this thing here, which is supposed to hurt me, but it, it doesn't. It's kind of weird. All right, so Suzaku will cover this whole section. Oh, I messed that up. Oh well. この all right, all things covered now. Oh no! Oh no! All right, all right, I got it. <sighs> That is so annoying. I got to put in D turret in here now. I can't play castle all day in a game that's supposed to be castle, but uh, whatever. Okay. Non versus fight. Um, I think Lucius is definitely smarter than Frank Fontaine. Although Frank Fontaine was pretty uh, resourceful, he got the code to activate. Uh, I forgot your name in the game, but you know who he is. Jack. Jack's his name. I think Fontaine was more resourceful considering his situation, but Lucius is definitely smarter. And I based it off absolutely nothing. I'm just kidding. I based it off just like from my. Understanding of the story. So we're used to seeing Guilford use the 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 Gurren, but that's where the situation ran right now. Okay. I believe it's a what if scenario, but yes, you're right. He would totally be awesome. We're ready for you. Let them come. We're ready. Damn it. We were not ready. 
How is the seal not affected? Damn it. And now she's dead. Just like that. Sorry, I stamped on the microphone. I hurt your ears. Dang, shut up, Gino. Shut the hell up. All right, all right, all right. I got to calm down. No, Gino, shut the hell up. <laughs> Will you please? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> shut the hell up. Anyone knows who Chris Jericho is? Would you please shut the hell up? Oh, that was so funny. Uh, Chris Jericho was such a, a riot back in the day. Every time he would uh, he would come out, he'd always say, "Would you please shut the hell up?" <laughs> How smart Lucian and Schnarzel would be, like the best duo ever. I Man, they they probably conquered the whole world with their intelligence, but they have moral uh, differences of opinion, which probably would cause. Let's say they're on the same page, and yeah, they they probably. Would um, we could take over the world? No, Frank isn't smart. He just had a lot of resource. He was just very resourceful, getting Jack's code to use him for his plans. No, Frank's an idiot. I mean, let's let's be honest. He, he's smart enough to take over um, Rapture. Not smart enough to actually do anything much else. <laughs> Okay. The frustrating part here is with with Detard. It's really weird. See, now it's working. What the hell was that before? Wow. Now it's working. Okay. Garbage. It was literally fine. It was not working before, but now it's fine. Okay. Okay. What did you believe? What a random dude about to kill here. Wow, I lost my camera twice in one stream. Um, one second. Stop, Cam. Kogias, that refers to AOT verse. Well, I mean, no offense to the Titans and Attack on Titan, but like, um, no, <laughs> they couldn't beat the um, even a an average Sutherland could probably dispatch most of the Titans with ease. Even the Beast Titan, they they don't stand a chance. Like you don't have to even discuss the seventh generation. Just mention like literally 
even a solo it could probably kill most of the regular titans in the story the weapons are just like those chaos mines would rip any of those guys to shreds if you bring in let's say i will tell you one you are right one gurin say 10 eight elements could destroy the entire rumbling with ease it wouldn't even be close it'd be it'd be disgustingly one-sided so yeah there's there's no it's not even a contest it's, it's like yeah it would never i i was rubbing my plant boss said earlier but yeah it would be in no contest they would get wiped out it'd be ugly very ugly. All right, we're almost. I'm almost there with this with the the gameplay. I have like another. I don't know. Try and get to um. Try and finish the story already, because I mean, I'm almost there. I got a couple more battles. One of these is like really crazy. You need like. Oh yeah, this one is nuts. You need like a bunch of uh, people on guns, like uh, range weapons. Oh, I said people on guns. Don't don't ask. You need, you need range weapons. So I'm gonna take out um, Millie for Lelouch. So I now have Lelouch, Dalton. We need one more. I guess I take out Guilford for. I don't even know. Oh, of course. We'll, okay. we'll put her in there. We'll use her. And I'll give her the plummies. Sweet. Look at that. Problem solved itself. Let's go. But the flag kills everyone in general. And we're I mean that alone is like that's not even fair. But yes, the, the flag does destroy all. Ooh. Mm. Okay. This is a really intense battle. You already tell just by the way the setup is. So the trick is to winning this. You gotta put an attacker at the end points. So if things get bad, you at least are protected there. Everywhere else, you need like um You need uh, some range weapons. Ran in the AOT verse. No idea. I'm quick to say Renya, but yeah, you know, I'll, I'll he might have problems with some of the bigger titans, but his powers are pretty OP. I mean, he literally absorbs everything around him. But he needs direct contact, at least early on. Uh, later on, he can absorb a certain area. So if he gets close to a Titan, he could probably feed off them. So you could probably kill the weaker Titans to destroy the bigger ones. Like the you know, the ones that are turned into with that, whatever the hell that thing is called. I don't even know, to be honest. But you know what I'm talking about. Okay. We're almost there. And I'll put Valletta here. Great. We're good. Oh, that was the wrong spot. Damn it. That was actually the wrong spot. Well, whatever. I can't protect that one unit over there. It's okay. I kind of messed up. Well, again, it can absorb their life force. Rainus arm absorbs life force, both inorganic and organic matter. So it could easily absorb all the titans. The problem is, like, how would that work against the bigger ones? I, I couldn't tell you. Okay. We should be good now. I don't know. I'm going to keep her on the reserve just in case. We should be good, though. Oh, no! Oh, yes. <laughs> so I just wiped out like a whole fleet of people. Oh, that's where I screwed up. I should have given Lelouch a better weapon. 
Man, I really screwed up here. Somehow we're not dead, but I really screwed this up. It doesn't really matter. I didn't lose anyone else, did I? No, we're good. I, I took her out on purpose. Okay. Oh, you have no idea. This game gets crazy. But I screwed up big time because I could have given uh, Lelouch the better gun. And he, whatever. I messed it up. I somehow won, but I didn't deserve it. I really screwed that up. That was stupid. That was so stupid. Oh, this one. This is a tough battle. You need, like, your head on a swivel to beat this one. This will not be easy. Let's make one thing clear. The number of frames are to destroy the entire Galactic Empire. I don't think you have to go that far, but sure. I mean, did someone ask earlier who would win between the Galactic Empire and the... Yeah, they would totally. I mean, the Gurren could probably wipe out... I don't think a Death Star we could probably take out a... Um, um, well, yeah, you know what? Could probably take out one of the Star Destroyers. Although they don't really fly in space, though. I don't think the Avalon could stop a uh, Star Destroyer. But I think a Gurren probably could. Hmm. That's the thing. Those ships are really powerful, though. Huh. You know, I got to think about that. I don't think I, I, I'm not sure that's even true, right? I mean, maybe they could. The Flayas could definitely wipe them out, assuming they, they work in space, which I have no idea that they've been established. They work in space or not. I don't think that use case ever came up during testing. So, <laughs> Schneider, do these things work in space? I mean, try to ask them. Uh, Nina's like, I don't know if it does. We haven't thought about it. I need to know. It's really important. Does it work in space? I don't know, Schneisel. Okay, damn. Calm down. Of course. Um, this is going to be really brutal. Okay, so I have, I got, let's see. He's got this whole thing covered. Okay, she's got all this covered. Boy, do I not have covered. I don't have the back end. Okay, so Lush needs to be here. All right, I think I'm all good now. And then I'll have Sasaku here. Oh, shoot, no one's... Oh, full I can cover it. Shoot. No, Bletta's got it, right? Bletta? Bletta? Okay. Scare me for a second. That was really close. Um, a 
Okay, that was probably not Sarah, but I panicked. Yeah. Well, let us shoot. Right, I got to pause here. What's going on? Okay. Cecile's in bad shape. No surprise, unfortunately. Um, Zaku's okay. Seal's not doing that great. Okay, so I should probably put... Um, Okay, that changes things. So I can, I can. Oh, damn it! <sighs> yeah, but can they got a star destroyer though? Think about that. I don't think they can take out a star destroyer though. I don't. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they, they don't. Okay. Um, well, I think it's good we have her here. But unfortunately, she's not doing anything. So I have to remove her and put in uh, a healer. But a good healer. One who can uh, travel really quickly to different locations on the battlefield. I didn't even use, I didn't even use D-Tard once, did I? I did not. So I'm going to take... He'll, she'll take his gun. And then I'll replace Detard with... I don't know. Another body, I guess. Uh, like, Colin could be useful. We, we, have, we have to replace Cecile with someone. I think Toto is probably a good pick. Just because he can block a lot. He's a good blocker. NFL lineman back in the day. Okay. Oh, wrong nightmare frame. There we go. I was like, it's not shipping that expensive. All right, let's go. All right, didn't you see? Oh, hold on. I, I thought I showed you here. So, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. Yeah, are you going to go anywhere? Don't go anywhere. I, I want to show you, but like, only if you're willing to see. All right, one second. Take a look. <sighs> Sorry. Not only did I get Suzaku, I got Lelouch, R2, C2, R2, Lelouch, and Jeremiah. It was a really awesome day. I think it's the best summons I've ever had in the game, period. And that's sad. Could I probably done like 1,000 at this point. But, yeah, there you go. I got all of them. I got a level of Jeremiah, though, because he's pretty OP. But, uh, yeah. I got them all. I got them all. What did I just say? I got them all, like Pokemon. Got to catch them all. I don't know. I just put the Dire Frames make it crushed by those, those... I mean, those blaster shots are pretty powerful. So, you know... I don't know. I don't think they would they would do as well as we think. Like this isn't now. If it was like Gundam Double O, I might agree with you. But Gundam Double O is not Code Geass. So, but that would be if it was in space. Okay. So now now let's see if I can redo this. Okay. He goes there. Um, Valetta goes here. Oh wait! Oh whatever! It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna complain about it. Okay, Saka goes here. All right, Letta goes here. Daijoba. Oh no, Lucius are you wrong? Oh no, oh no. Shoot. Damn it. I, hold on, hold on. Lucius in the wrong weapon. Lucius, 
You're using the wrong weapon. The wrong weapon. Let's try again. Wait. Who's using the... Wait, what's going on here? Then who's using the good Gurren? I mean, the good uh, Sutherland. All right, Lou should be using this gun. All right. I know it took like a billion years, but yeah, it did. It's very true. I now have a powerful team that I can build on for a couple months, and I should be good. Unless the game decides to power creep them. But I don't know. They're not going to power creep Illusion and Suzaku for a while, so I should be good. But I was struggling to beat that latest challenge. I mean, you, you weren't there, but I had a hard time. I actually didn't even beat it. The third um, the third challenge in that uh, the latest event. So, What did someone ask? Like, oh, Nightmare Frame versus Transformers. I think Transformers, to be fair. I mean, Unicron, really? <laughs> it's a freaking planet. That's not a fair fight. Okay. Um, Dalton will go here. さあ、この家でくれ。あ、僕するまで何度でも落ち着く。Okay, that looks good. So far, so good. I'll never get Orpheus. It's too late. He's like so far in the pull. I mean, there was a band that, might, that made it really easy to get Orpheus, but like it was not worth it. I'm telling you, it was not worth it. Maybe they make a new Orpheus. I'll go after that one. But this, the current one, he's been power crept out of the game, anyways. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> they would die there was mission. I didn't I couldn't tell what was happening. Um I think it's a lazy way to do it and also was kind of baiting a lot of depraved stuff. Whether it was intentional or not, it was very baity on that. Oh my god, one level way where I can fight so close to filling the whole roster up. Uh I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan. I guess we'll never know. Oh, we're done. Okay, great. So check this out. By the way, they still have the nude scene with Valletta, so I'll make sure we don't see that. I'll, I'll cut it right out because, you know. So see here how, see? Shirley knows what happened, see? What's going on, Shirley? She knows about Lelouch. But here's the crazy part, right? She goes to, um, oh, this is dude. Let me show what I'm talking about. 
Hold on, where is it? Um, well, I knew it was going to be a good one, but yeah, I appreciate the comment. So I want to show you this one part. So I believe it's it's here. This one or the next one. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, this is a blood. Okay. All right. So Shirley's confused in the cable car. Okay, we're not there yet. Almost, almost. So, which calls them to find out. Okay, all right, okay. I think eight is with Ogi and Valletta, so I'll skip that part for obvious reasons. Come on. 26 of these. I want to show you what happened, but I'm not. It's taking so long to get there. Okay, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Hi, hi. All right, so it's, it's not this one. Moving on. It's the next one, I think. Sort of. They sort of have a kid. It's complicated. They sort of have a kid. Shilly's face so, de so demented. Okay, so here she goes. To, check this out. She goes to the monument, right? And no mile. That's it. She goes there. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bunch of jackasses. Okay. But see how she went to the monument and Mao wasn't there? And if I keep going, you will not see Mao. Almost there. Probably because of the scene. I'm I'm going really quick on purpose. All right, moving on, moving on. This is not it. Again, it's a clown. It's a clown. But it's still weird. Yes. Oh my God, can we get to where Shirley's doing? Okay, so they're going on the train. Her stupid hat. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, where is it? Oh, where is her? I like my care. Oh my god. Hey, look, it's Claudio. Cool. What's Claudio joining the game? I want him now. Oh my god. So to be continued. Come on. Let's go. See, here we go. She had the monument, right? She's thinking about what, she, what happened. But see, Miles not here. He's not here. 
There you go. Miles on the story. So sad. Break reality, it breaks sanity, but yeah, it does break reality. It's very true. Medical check. Yes, Suzaku, get a medical checkup. You have problems. Okay. So Ogi just found Paletta because it's the, the see that's the the uh, it's sundown. I'm trying to get the words out, but it's hard. Okay, I'll skip this because you know where this is leading to. And they kept that for some reason in here. Every time Rebel talks, it just hurts me. Yeah. I mean, I get it, but still, like, he was part of the story. Yes, I know. Nobody likes Mal. To be under it's understandable. He's important, but horribly handled. That is for sure. Oh, God. What the fudge what was that? All right, we're almost there. Got six more to go. Jesus, so many. Are they dating? Who knows? I like this game a lot, but going through the story can take forever. I know you get like resources for doing it, but my goodness. Oh, this is a new character, by the way. I don't know what his name is, but he's new in the game. Anyways. Oh, look who's here at the end of the stream. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. This is kind of cool. Look at this animation here. But the show already confirmed it, though, right? Because um, because Millie already said this, and um, Millie already confirmed this in turn twelve. So yeah, I mean, it was already to the can. She liked Lelouch. It was subtle. He's a... Oh my god, almost there. Oh, <laughs> 
ったのはあいつだけだ。They're going to announce your capture at some point, just don't know when or ever, actually. I mean, they were supposed to a while ago, so yeah. They were, they were signed by uh, Ember. I appreciate the uh, all the feedback and stuff. So thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, I got I got a full tango stuff. I better utilize it because this game, unfortunately, kind of have to. So I'm gonna go do some things. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that sound scared the shit out of me. I'm not going to lie. That's That sound really scared me. Okay. Don't do that. You scared me. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Hmm. I don't know what should I do. I guess I'll just buy three of these. That can't hurt. No, no. Let's let's do the silver. The silver I always can use some. Whew. Okay. My daily mission's completed. I were a while ago. Yeah. Oh, I still got stuff to collect on though. So let's see. Daily's done. Weekly's done. We, we finished the whole story. All right. Think. Think we're good. No, I, I'm sorry. I know. I know we're good. Um. I don't know, man. <laughs> I appreciate the, the uh, discussion, but uh, I'm <laughs> I'm kind of burned out um, to go over that. But uh, yeah, I think I think one thing here. Thanks, guys, for partaking in the stream. Appreciated. I'm gonna be fine. Got some good characters for once. I know the last couple weeks, weeks, months has been crap, but. Uh, Finally, something good, but uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, next week we'll continue on our discussion of the manga. Actually, will we? We'll see. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. But anyways, thanks so much as always, and um, have a good week, guys. Take care. <laughs>